Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Chinese. Hi, everybody. My name is Wu Rui. Welcome to the 800 core Chinese words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Chinese. But there was a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at ChineseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Chinese. Okay, let's get started. First is... 第九 Ninth 第九 第九 Ninth,斋月是伊斯兰历的第九个月. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim year. 斋月是伊斯兰历的第九个月. 第十, tenth, 第十, 第十, I finally made a goal on my tenth attempt. 我第十次尝试的时候终于进了一个球。第八。第八。第八。兵马俑被誉为世界第八大奇迹。The Terracotta Army is regarded as the eighth wonder of the world. 兵马俑被 誉为世界第八大奇迹。刮胡刀 Shaving razor 刮胡刀刮胡刀 Shaving razor 男人正在用一次性刮胡刀刮胡子。The man is shaving his beard with a disposable shaving razor. 男人正在用一次性刮胡刀刮胡子。面巾 Washcloth 面巾 面巾 Washcloth 男孩 the boy is washing his face with a washcloth. The this towel is too small for me. 这条毛巾对我来说太小了。勺子 Spoon 勺子 勺子 Spoon 你有勺子吗? Do you have spoons? 你有勺子吗? 
叉子 ，fork， 叉子，叉子 ，fork。他不太会用叉子。He can't use a fork very well. 他不太会用叉子。刀 knife， 刀刀 knife。我想买一把新刀。I want to buy a new knife. 我。想买一把新刀，盘子 ，plate， 盘子，盘子 ，plate。这个盘子很脏。This plate is dirty。这个盘子。很脏。蜜蜂 ，b， 蜜蜂，蜜蜂 ，b， 蜜蜂正在给黄色的花授粉。The bee is pollinating the yellow flower. 蜜蜂。正在给黄色的花授粉。蚂蚁 ，ant， 蚂蚁，蚂蚁 ，ant。蚂蚁可以举起自己体重十倍到五十倍的东西。Ants can lift ten to fifty times their body weight. 蚂蚁可以举起自己体重十倍到五十倍的东西。蛇 ，snake， 蛇。蛇 ，snake， 蛇又不掉毛，又不吵闹。Snakes don't shed hair and aren't noisy. 蛇又不掉毛，又不吵闹。牛奶 ，milk。牛奶，牛奶 ，milk。下次多买些牛奶吧。Why don't you buy more milk next time? 下次多买些牛奶吧。设计师 ，designer。设计师，设计师 ，designer。设计师有很多种，但我是时装设计师。There are many kinds of designers, but I'm a fashion designer. 设计师有很多种。但我是时装设计师、艺术家 （artist）、艺术家、艺术家 （artist）。很多艺术家在成功之前都有过很长一段时间的奋斗。Many artists struggle for a long time before achieving success. 很多艺术家在成功之前
都有过很长一段时间的奋斗。士兵 ，soldier， 士兵，士兵 ，soldier， 士兵。守着洋房的大门。The soldier guarded the door to the barracks. 士兵守着洋房的大门。企业家 ，entrepreneur。企业家，企业家。Entrepreneur, 企业家用他们的想法改变世界。Entrepreneurs change the world with their ideas. 企业家用他们的想法改变世界。短篇小说 ，short story. 短篇小说，短篇小说 ，short story， 写的很好的短篇小说 ，well written short story， 写的很好的短篇小说，文件夹 ，folder。文件夹，文件夹 ，folder。我把文件放在文件夹里。I put the documents in a folder。我把文件放在文件夹里。Well done. In this lesson. You expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at ChineseClass11.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. 再见 Welcome to Chinese Top Words. My name is Ray. Today we are going to learn 15 must-know family words in Chinese. Are you ready? Let's go. 家人 family. The first one is 家人 family. 这是我家人的合照 This is a family picture of mine. 父亲 father. 父亲 father. 我的父亲今年已经七十岁了 My father is already seventy years old this year. But generally, we do not say this word. We always say "dad," which is 爸爸我的爸爸父亲 is more like written language. It sounds more like unnatural if you really say it in the daily life. 丈夫 husband, 丈夫 husband. 你的丈夫是做什么的 What does your husband do? Like as far as I'm concerned, we we have many words for husband, like 老公爱人先生先生 is the most official one. Like 你的先生是做什么的 is the most official one for the person you first met. 爱人是做什么的爱人 is kind of neutral language. It can refer to your husband or your wife. 爱人老公 is more like spoken. It's more casual way. 儿子 ，son， 儿子 ，son。你儿子在哪个学校上学 ？Which school does your son go to? Yeah, we actually ask that question very often. 兄弟 ，brother， 兄弟 ，brother。我有两个兄弟，一个哥哥，一个弟弟。I have two brothers, one older brother and one younger brother. Oh, it sounds cool. 叔叔 ，uncle。叔叔 ，uncle， 这是我叔叔住的地方。This is the place where my uncle lives. 
Shoshu is very commonly used when I was a kid. Anybody who is older or even younger, about my parents' age, I will call, um, 叔叔，爷爷 ，grandfather， 爷爷 ，grandfather。我的爷爷以前是一位中医。My grandfather was a practitioner of Chinese medicine. 岳父 ，father-in-law， 岳父 ，father-in-law。他的岳父对他很满意。His father-in-law is really happy with him. In China, especially before you marry, as a man, you show great, great, great respect for your future father-in-law. And、uh, sometimes you do not only say 岳父 you will say 岳父大人 It's like my dear respected father-in-law, 岳父大人 It's kind of funny, but you can see like how much effort you should devote into. Building a good relationship with your future father-in-law to get the agreement for marriage. 母亲 mother, 母亲 mother. 今天是我的母亲的生日 Today is the birthday of my mother. Do you remember your mother's birthday? 女儿 daughter, 女儿 daughter. 俗话说，女儿是妈妈的小棉袄 This is an idiom meaning that daughters are always loving, warm, and protective of their mothers, like a coat. 妹妹 younger sister, 妹妹 younger sister. 她两岁的妹妹非常可爱 His two-year-old little sister is very cute. 妹妹 in Chinese, same as what I have already mentioned, like uncle, 叔叔 is more like a general term. Even I, I can call like a little girl, like five year old or six year old. I can say 小妹妹 It sounds intimate. Or you can、um, refer it to your cousin. 妻子 wife. 妻子 wife. 她是一个贴心的妻子 She is a considerate wife. 岳母 mother in law. 岳母 mother in law. 我的岳母身体很好。My mother-in-law is very healthy. 奶奶 grandmother. 奶奶 grandmother. 我很想我的奶奶。I miss my grandmother so much. 配偶 partner. 配偶 partner. 请填写你配偶的姓名。Please fill in the full name of your partner. Thank you for watching today's. Top Chinese words. Don't forget to subscribe, and let us know what you want to learn about family. And is there any other words you want to learn in Chinese about family? And I will be waiting for you next time. Bye. Hi, hello, welcome everyone. I'm Yu Ting. Today I'm going to tell you ten ways to remember words. Maybe you can find a really efficient and useful way in this lesson. So let's begin. 我一遍又一遍重复练习阅读、写作和口语 I use repetition, reading, writing, and speaking words over and over again. And I think the key of learning a new language is a repetition. I write the Chinese character over and over again. 我听歌并记歌词 I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. Actually, this way is so useful, and I highly recommend it. A、uh, songs. That name is the moon represents my heart. 月亮代表我的心你问我，把文字和图片联系起来 ，associate the Chinese word with the picture. Yeah, that's a really efficient way. Let me show you an example. This is a picture of mountain, and this is a Chinese character. You see this? Actually, the Chinese character is original from the picture, so it's very easy and way way to learn new words. 
。我把新学的词和其他学过的相关词语联系在一起。I categorize the new words with other related words that I already know. For example, today your new words is 热水 It's it's not 热水热水 means hot water. You can associate 热水 hot water with cold water, bottle of water. So blah blah blah. So you can know lots of words about water. So your words will multiply. 我把新学的词和故事、游戏或电影联系在一起。I associate new words with stories, games, or movies. Yeah, it's really good way to remember new words because in Chinese character, each character have like、uh, one story. So if you know story, you can totally learn the words. It's very efficient way and very interesting. 尽量多阅读，尤其是多读报纸，这样有利于我记单词。Reading as much as possible, especially in newspaper, helps me to remember new words. Generally speaking, if you want to read the Chinese book or newspaper, you just need three thousand Chinese character. Actually, it's not so hard. If I just know three thousand English words, I can do nothing. 我尽量在日常生活中使用中文。I try to use Chinese as much as possible in my daily life. Yeah, I think this way is the best way to learn Chinese. Use it as much as possible in your daily life. For example,、uh, you can look in the dictionary how to order、uh, food in the restaurant. You just、uh, use it. 我试着将所学到的新词用在句子里，这样我学会的是完整的表达，而不是一个个单独的词语。I try to use the new word in a simple sentence, so I learn whole phrases, not just the individual words. Yeah, that's right. If you just、uh, remember、uh, only individual words and you don't know how these words performance in the whole sentence, it's useless. So it's better you also remember some sentence. 我尽可能跟母语者说话。I speak as often as possible with the native speaker. Yeah, it's a good way. You can listen the pronunciation from the native speaker, and also the native speaker can correct your pronunciation. 看 Chinese Class One Hundred One dot com 上面的视频 Watch videos of Chinese Class One Hundred One dot com. Yeah, that's a good way because we have lots of videos and.、Uh, All this you can repeat and repeat again. Yeah, that's all for today. Today we learned ten ways to remember words. What kind of way you use and、uh, you think is very useful? Please share with us, please. Okay, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. See you next time. You want why? Oh, okay, it's too hard. I don't want to see it. Hello, 大家好，欢迎来到 Chinese Weekly Words. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Chinese Weekly Words. This week, we're going to talk about tableware. Yeah, tableware. Okay, okay. First one, 第一个是勺子，勺子 can mean a spoon or a ladle. 我用勺子喝汤。I use a spoon to have my soup. 我用勺子喝汤。下一个是咖啡杯，咖啡 ，coffee. 杯 is either could be a cup or a glass or a mug. So 咖啡杯 means coffee mug. 咖啡杯。<laughs> 星巴克 It means Starbucks, so that's a Chinese name. So this is a Starbucks coffee mug. 这是一个星巴克的咖啡杯 All right, we talked about 杯子杯子 is a cup, 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 cup. You know the cupcake in Chinese? 杯子蛋糕蛋糕 is cake. 杯子 is a cup. So 
cupcake. It's 杯子蛋糕 So you can say, 我喜欢吃杯子蛋糕 I like cupcakes. 下一个是盘子 Panzi is a plate. 我不想洗盘子我不想洗盘子 means I do not want to wash the plates. <laughs> 我不想洗盘子 No, no, no. 下一个是茶壶茶壶 is something you use to boil the tea. So it's a teapot. 茶壶 is like this. Can you see? Can you see my arm and this? And this is a teapot. 我是一个大茶壶。<笑>这是一个很漂亮的茶壶。This is a pretty teapot. So that's the end. We talked about tableware, and I hope you like this video. And I'll be here with you next week on Chinese Weekly Words. 我们下周再见，拜拜。大家好，我是崔晨，很高兴又和大家见面了。一九四九年十月一日是新中国成立的纪念日，它也被称作国庆节。国庆节一般有七天的连休假期，是一个非常大的节日。那么国庆节又有哪些不同呢？人们又是怎么庆祝的呢？下面我们一起来了解一下吧。国庆节期间，北京的天安门广场总是会比平日更加人山人海。你知道是为什么吗？我会在这个视频的结尾告诉大家答案。阅兵是新中国成立以来国庆大典的一项重要内容。阅兵被认为是展示国家成就、树立民族自信心和自豪感的重要形式，所以很受政府重视。由于中国人喜欢整数，所以每逢建国五周年、十周年，在国庆节这天，北京的长安街上都会举行规模盛大的阅兵仪式。距离现在最近的一次是2009年的国庆六十周年大阅兵，而最重要的一次当属1949年开国大典时的仪式了。参与阅兵的。不仅有海陆空三军精锐部队的代表组成的列队方阵，还有学生以及各行各业的人们组成的方阵，在天安门广场上进行表演。每一次阅兵都要动员上万人，训练整整一年。阅兵当天，各主要电视台都会进行全程直播。北京是中国的首都，是中国的政治中心，所以每逢国庆节期间。北京，尤其是北京的天安门广场，都会人满为患。天安门广场对现代中国人来说，在政治上有重要的意义。前面说过， 1 9 4 9年的开国大典就是在天安门城楼上举行的。很多中国人都会选择10月1日国庆节这天的清晨，前来天安门广场观看升旗仪式，抒发爱国情怀。每个国家阅兵时，阅兵首长与受阅部队之间的应答都十分具有其特色。中国阅兵时的应答如下：“同志们好，首长好，同志们辛苦了，为人民服务。”这是一句几乎人人都熟悉的应答，也被许多年轻人用来作为彼此打招呼的方式，十分新颖幽默。现在我来告诉你们。前面问题的答案：国庆节期间，北京的天安门广场总是会比平日更加人山人海。你知道是为什么吗？这是因为每逢国庆节，天安门广场上都会有置办花坛的传统，每年都会围绕当年中国的经济、社会的新发展等等为主题进行设计，各种由鲜花组成的图案铺满广场。非常美观，吸引全国各地的游客前来参观。这节课你觉得怎么样？你有学到很多有趣的东西吗？在你的国家，人们又是怎么庆祝国庆节的呢？请在 Chinese Class One On One com 给我们留言吧。我们下一节课再见。
家好，我是崔晨。这节课的主题是每年农历五月五日的端午节。端午节是中国人纪念一个叫屈原的英雄的节日。在这一天，有吃粽子、赛龙舟、挂艾叶等有趣的习俗。那么，首先我们一起来了解一下屈原吧。端午节这一天有很多习俗，当中的哪些是由于纪念屈原而产生的呢？我会在这个视频的结尾告诉大家答案哦。屈原是两千多年前的一位政治家和诗人，他曾在楚国做官，非常效忠于国家，却惨遭小人陷害而被流放。不堪屈辱的他，于五月五日这一天投江自尽。相传他死后，人们非常思念他，常常泛舟江河之上。之后，这个习俗逐渐发展为龙舟竞赛。说到赛龙舟，这是一项非常受欢迎的传统竞技。龙舟就是小船，赛龙舟就是划船比赛。比赛的时候。每个船上安排25名船员，由其中一人指挥，两人敲鼓，其他人齐心协力，力争最快滑到终点。赛龙舟最吸引人的是它热闹的气氛，龙舟上鼓声震天，喊声不绝，两岸围观的观众也络绎不绝。而在端午节一定要吃的食物，当然是粽子啦。传说屈原跳江后。人们不忍心他的躯体被江河里的鱼虾吃掉，便做了很多带馅的团子，撒到水里喂鱼。这就是粽子的由来。那么粽子是什么样的呢？最里面是枣、豆沙等做成的馅儿，由浸泡好的糯米包裹，最外面再包上粽子叶，煮好以后包掉粽子叶，浇排糖吃。古时候，人们认为端午节这天在家门口悬挂艾叶能够辟邪气。现代科学发现，艾叶的确能起到杀菌作用、预防瘟疫流行等等。现在我来告诉你们前面问题的答案。端午节这一天有很多习俗，当中的哪些是由于纪念屈原而产生的呢？端午节是为了纪念屈原的节日。跟他有关的习俗是赛龙舟和吃粽子，怎么样？你记住了吗？这节课你觉得怎么样？你有学到很多有趣的东西吗？在你的国家有哪些食物是纪念历史人物的呢？请在 Chinese Class One One dot com 给我们留言吧。我们下一节课再见。Hi everybody, Inru here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer most of your common Chinese questions. The question for this lesson is: Is Chinese money called yuan or kuai? Chinese money is called RMB. This is an abbreviation of Renminbi, People's Currency. In an exchange rate table, the unit for RMB is always yuan. However, in daily life, people often use kuai instead of yuan. The answer is very simple. Yuan is used in formal writings, and kuai is used in colloquial everyday language. So, to ask how much something is, you can say, "This is how much?" How much is this? Then you may get an answer such as "wu kuai" or "20 kuai." The same rule applies to jiao and mao. Jiao is the formal ten cents. 一角等于零点一元。One jiao equals to point one yuan. The more casual way of saying jiao is mao. For example, 请问这个多少钱 ？Excuse me, how much is this? 两毛 or 五块五毛 ，twenty cents or five yuan and fifty cents. And many times people won't say the mao at the end when there's both kuai and mao. So instead of 五块五毛 people might just say 五块五 Nowadays, Chinese don't use fen anymore. This is the monetary unit for one cent. The smallest money in your pocket would be 一角 or 一毛 ten cents. 
Like any other currency, Chinese money has coins and bills or notes. Coins are called yin bi, which literally means hard money. Notes are called zhi bi, which literally means paper money. Yin bi comes in yi jiao, wu jiao, yi yuan. Zhi bi comes in yi yuan, wu yuan, shi yuan, er shi yuan, wu shi yuan, and yi bai yuan. Here's some cultural tip. China doesn't have a culture of tipping. Traditional businesses wouldn't take tips, but higher-end Western-style restaurants in megacities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou may expect tips. Tips in Chinese is 小费. To say keep the change, you can say 不用找了. How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. 我们下期再见 See you in the next episode. In this video, you will learn twenty of the most common words and phrases in Chinese. Hi, everybody. My name is Ray. Welcome to the 800 core Chinese words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Chinese. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at ChineseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences. Create your own flashcard deck and finally master Chinese. Okay, let's get started. First is 今天 today, 今天今天 Today, 他今天看起来很伤心 She looks really sad today. 他今天看起来很伤心昨天 yesterday, 昨天昨天 yesterday, 昨天上午 Yesterday morning. 昨天上午明天 Tomorrow. 明天明天 Tomorrow. 明天十点十分 Tomorrow at ten ten. 明天十点十分周 week, 周周 week, 一周七天 seven days a week, 一周七天年 year, 年年 year. 一年 one year. 一年秒 second. 秒秒 second. 下一秒 the next second. 下一秒分钟 minute. 分钟，分钟 ，minute， 三分钟 ，three minutes， 三分钟，小时 ，hour， 小时，小时 ，hour， 还有一个小时。An hour away. 还有一个小时
钟 ，clock， 钟，钟 ，clock。设置闹钟 ，set an alarm clock。设置闹钟，点 ，a clock， 点，点 ，a clock， 三点 ，three o'clock。三点，日历 ，calendar， 日历，日历 ，calendar， 更新日历 ，update the calendar， 更新日历，星期一。Monday, 星期一，星期一 ，Monday， 工作周从星期一开始。The work week starts on Monday. 工作周从星期一开始。星期二 ，Tuesday. 星期二，星期二 ，Tuesday。星期二，一月一号 ，Tuesday，January first。星期二，一月一号，星期三 ，Wednesday。星期三，星。七三 ，Wednesday， 十八号，星期三 ，Wednesday，the eighteenth， 十八号，星期三，星期四 ，Thursday， 星期四，星期四 ，Thursday， 在星期四。On Thursday, 在星期四，星期五 ，Friday， 星期五，星期五 ，Friday。谢天谢地，今天星期五。Thank God it's Friday。谢天谢地，今天星期五。星期六 ，Saturday。星期六，星期六 ，Saturday。星期六晚上 ，Saturday night。星期六晚上，星期天 ，Sunday。星期天，星。七天 ，Sunday。星期天是父亲节 ，Sunday is Father's Day。星期天是父亲节。做 ，do， 做，做 ，do， 全部都做。To do it all, 全部都做。去 ，go， 去，去 ，go。没有地方可去。Nowhere to go。没有地方可去。Remember. The goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Chinese. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access a full list. 
you will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at ChineseClass101.com. See you next time! Hello,我是思晨。这节课要学习的节日是冬至。中国自古是农业大国,所以每一个季节转变的日子都尤其重要。冬至一般在每年西历12月22日或23日到来,标志着寒冬降临。那么冬至都哪些有趣的习俗
我是一名学生。You can tell your occupation, your career. For example, uh, you are a teacher. You can say, 我是一名老师。And、uh, if you are an engineer, you can speak, 啊、uh, ，我是一名工程师。呃、uh, ，医生 ，doctor, lawyer, 律师。And、uh, if you work for government, you can speak, 呃、uh, ，我是公务员。<笑>我二十四岁。I'm twenty-four years old. Okay, next one. Tell your age. Ha ha ha. Maybe sometimes you don't want to tell your age. That is okay. 我今年二十四岁 I'm twenty-four years old. 我的爱好是摄影 My hobby is photography. 我的爱好是摄影 My hobby is photography. And also, I love travel. 呃、uh, ，而且我也喜欢旅行。你喜欢旅行吗 ？Do you like to travel? 我喜欢听音乐。I enjoy listening to music. 我喜欢听音乐。I enjoy listening to music. And also, I also enjoy cooking. 我喜欢做饭。And watching movie. 看电影。我学习中文已经二十四年了。I have been learning Chinese for twenty-four years. 我学习中文已经二十四年了 I have been learning Chinese for twenty-four years. How long have you been studying Chinese? 你学中文多长时间了我的梦想是成为一名中文老师 My dream is to be a Chinese teacher. 我的梦想是当一名中文老师 My dream is to be a Chinese teacher. So here I am. I hope you can enjoy my lesson. 我希望你们喜欢我的中文课。Okay, guys, that's all for today's lesson. Today we learned ten lines you need for introducing yourself. And if you have some questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. I have been learning Chinese for. Twenty four years. <laughs>、Hey, everyone, welcome. Today we are going to learn ten favorite words chosen by you. Let's get started. 喜欢 Like, 喜欢 like. 中国人很喜欢打麻将 Chinese people like to play 麻将麻将 is a very popular Chinese game. 对不起 I'm sorry. 对不起 I'm sorry. More casual way to speak "I'm sorry" in Chinese is a、uh, 不好意思不好意思 is very common way to speak. Uh, 对不起 For example, 啊对不起 or 不好意思嗯、uh, 您能告诉我天安门广场怎么走吗 That means "I'm sorry" or "Excuse me, could you please tell me where is a、uh, Tiananmen Square?" 尊敬 Respect, 尊敬 respect. For example, 尊敬的各位领导 You can also hear that in the TV show. That means respectable leader. And also, you can say that I respect my teacher. 呃、uh, ，我很尊敬我的老师。我爱你。I love you. 我爱你。I love you. Maybe for the lover, we we can say I love you, I 我爱你 But for the parents, we we don't say that. 是真的 It's true. 是真的 It's true. If you want to、uh, illustrate something, it's really really true. You want you can say, 这是真的，请你相信我 It's true. Please trust me. And also. You can ask someone like, "Is that true? 这是真的吗？有点问题 It's not all right. 有点问题 It's not all right. 小王，过来，过来。嗯，这个文件有点问题，再拿去改一改
it's like the boss tell the staff, ah, come here, uh, Miss Wang, this, this file is not all right, please correct it again. 热情, passionate. 热情, passionate. For this word, uh, in the Chinese character, it has the two meanings. The first is passionate. The second is the uh, hospitable. For the first uh, meaning, you can say, 我对工作有无限的热情. That means I'm super passionate about my work. 真棒, awesome. 真棒, awesome. For example, you find a new job, I will say, ah, 真棒, 太棒了. That means awesome. Or you can say, ah, 你真了不起, 你好棒. That also means awesome. 抱抱我, give me a hug. 抱抱我, give me a hug. Mm, you make me some mistakes, you want to make the other one happy, and you will say, mm, please forgive me, mm, sorry, mm, give me a hug. Ah, 我错了,对不起嘛,抱抱我。淘气, naughty. 淘气, naughty. For this word, uh, I think it's just used for the a little boy or a little girl, five years old, six years old. So you can say, ah, 你这个小孩子太淘气了. Uh, you can say that, ah, 你这个小孩子太淘气了. That means, ah, you, you're so naughty. Okay, that's all for today. Today we did the 10 favorite words chosen by you. And my favorite words is, guess? <laughs> 抱抱我, give me a hug. What's your favorite words? Please comment below and tell me your favorite words. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye bye.大家好充满浪漫的气息你会看到各种各样的庆祝活动年末变成了女人们必须要出门购物的日子联系增进感情的好契机
。在中国，人们非常喜欢在特殊的节日里放烟花、爆竹。最受欢迎的有二踢脚，随着“咚咚”两声巨响，人们用这种方式表达对新一年新气象的期盼。现在我来告诉你们前面问题的答案。你会唱中国版本的《新年好》这首歌吗？下面我来给大家唱一下中文版的《新年好》。新年好呀，新年好呀，祝福大家新年好。我们唱歌，我们跳舞，祝福大家新年好。很简单吧？有机会唱给你的中国朋友听吧。这节课你觉得怎么样？你有学到很多有趣的东西吗？在你的国家，新年又是怎样庆祝的呢？请在 Chinese Class One Hundred One 的 com 给我们留言吧。我们下一节课再见。How are your Chinese listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. 一个男人和一个女人正在餐厅看菜单。男人点了什么菜？你想点什么菜？这个披萨看起来很好吃，我要点这个。我昨天吃过披萨了，所以，哦、oh, ，那这个汉堡怎么样？不错，我就点这个吧。男人点了什么菜？一个男人和一个女人正在餐厅看菜单。男人点了什么菜？你想点什么菜？这个披萨看起来很好吃。我要点这个。我昨天吃过披萨了，所以。哦、oh, ，那这个汉堡怎么样？不错，我就点这个吧。Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Welcome to Chinese Top Words. My name is Ray. Today we are going to cover 20 travel phrases you should know. Let's get started. 我可以要一张地图吗 Could I get a map? 我可以要一张地图吗 Could I get a map? Map, map. If you use your hand gesture enough, I think Chinese will know what you want. Yeah. 你会讲英语吗 Do you speak English? 你会讲英语吗 Do you speak English? So when you see m at the end of a sentence, Chinese sentence, you will know this is a sentence for asking a question. 什么什么 m? What what m? 有没有从机场进入市区的巴士 Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 有没有从机场进入市区的巴士 Is there a bus from the airport to the city? So in China, since we have a, a big population, especially in the airport or in a train station, sometimes we need to line up for the taxi. So it may be a very useful sentence when you get to the China for the first time. Wi-Fi 是免费的吗 Is the Wi-Fi free? Wi-Fi 是免费的吗 Is the Wi-Fi free? Another common question is, what is the Wi-Fi password? Wi-Fi 的密码是什么？今晚有房间吗 ？Do you have any vacancies tonight? 今晚有房间吗 ？Do you have any vacancies tonight? So different from English, we put the time in front of a sentence instead of at the end of the sentence. So 今晚 means tonight. 我可以换一个其他的房间吗 ？Could I move to a different room? 我可以换一个其他的房间吗？ Could I move to a different room? So when you are not satisfied with the room, maybe it's filled with smoke smell, you can use this sentence. 我可以换一个其他的房间吗？无烟房，无烟房 means non-smoking room. 我有预定。I have a reservation. 
我有预定 I have a reservation. You can use it in a restaurant or in a hotel. 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 Could we have the menu, please? 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 Could we have the menu, please? 菜 means dishes. 单 means list. So a list of dishes. It means menu in English. 你有什么推荐吗 Do you have any recommendations? 你有什么推荐吗 Do you have any recommendations? So speaking of Chinese dishes, my favorite one is tomato fried eggs. 西红柿炒鸡蛋 I strongly recommend it. Please try it. 可以给我结账吗 Could I have the check? 可以给我结账吗 Could I have the check? So in China, when you go to a restaurant, go having dinner with your, especially your close friends or your family, um, one special, one Chinese specific situation might happen. Like everybody will fight for check. Could I have the check? 我可以结账吗 It's not so often heard, but instead it's like, I want the check. 我要结账 Yeah. In China, people like paying for their close friends and family. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. Among my friends and my family, I've never heard anybody is allergic to anything. I guess we were born strong. 请给我一杯水 Water, please. 请给我一杯水 Water, please. I would recommend you to say, 请给我一杯冰水 because in China many people like hot water. Me too. I like hot water. So if you do not add 冰冰 means ice. So 冰水 means ice water. So if you don't add that, you probably get a hot water. 这个多少钱 How much is this? 这个多少钱 How much is this? So if you go shopping in China, if it's not department store, usually the price is not written on the product. So the merchant may offer different prices depending on the people. You have to always ask and always negotiate. Otherwise, you will get overcharged. But also enjoy the fun of negotiating the price. 我要十个这个 I'd like ten of these. 我要十个这个 I'd like ten of these. If you feel this sentence too long for you, you can say, 这个我要十个 or you can say 十个 This is Chinese way of showing ten. 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? So, like what I have said before, in China, negotiating price is very common, except the department store. So this could be very useful. 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? In China, personally, I don't use credit card so often. I usually use my cash or like an account in my phone. So I just show my phone is like Apple Pay. It's very easy and convenient. 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? So we put where at the end of the sentence in Chinese. So be careful, reverse the order. 请问车费是多少 Excuse me, what's the fare? 请问车费是多少 Excuse me, what's the fare? Usually, you use this sentence when you take a taxi. So when you get to the destination, you can ask the taxi driver. 请问车费是多少？能不能帮我拍张照 ？Could you take a picture of me, please? 能不能帮我拍张照 ？Could you take a picture of me, please? Instead of asking this favor in a question, you can also say, 请帮我拍张照。Please take a picture for me. 这是去机场的巴士吗 ？Is this the right bus for the airport? 这是去机场的巴士吗 ？Is this The right bus for the airport. Thank you for watching Chinese top words today. I'm happy to share with you the useful words when you travel in China. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out our Chinese class101.com. 
I'll be there waiting for you. Bye. Welcome to Fun and Easy Chinese by ChineseClass101.com. Hi, 大家好，我是李音如。Hi, everyone. Inru Li here. Can you introduce yourself in Chinese? Building connections is important. This is particularly true in the Chinese society. There are certain phrases people use in self-introductions to connect with people they meet for the first time. These phrases include, 你好，我叫。我是，我姓，我是人，请多指教。久仰。In this lesson, you will learn how to use these phrases to make your self-introductions sound more native and impressive. Phrase number one: 你好，我叫。This is the standard way to greet someone you meet for the first time and introduce yourself. 你好，我叫 plus your name. Hello, I'm called, which is the literal translation. More naturally, hello, my name is. 你好，我叫 This phrase is often followed up with a handshake. If you're doing self-introduction to a group of people, you can replace 你好 with 大家好 meaning hello, everybody. 大家好。For example, 大家好，我叫李音如。Hi, everybody. My name is 李音如。大家好，我叫李音如。Or on informal occasions, you can use your first name only. 大家好，我叫音如。Hi, everybody. My name is 音如。大家好，我叫音如。Another way to tell people who you are is to use this phrase, 我是 meaning I am. 我是 After 我是 you can add your name or title, such as what you do or your relationship with someone. For example, I can say, 我是李音如 I am 李音如我是李音如 Or I can say, 我是一名老师 ，I am a teacher. 我是一名老师 ，or 我是你们的中文老师。I am your Chinese teacher. 我是你们的中文老师。Well, the next phrase is another way to introduce your name, but more specifically, your family name. 我姓。我姓，姓 means family name, and this is often used on formal and business occasions. For example, your family name is Wu. You can say, 我姓吴，我姓吴 This also works for foreign names. Suppose your last name is Smith. In Chinese, you can say, 我姓史密斯，我姓史密斯。Next is a phrase for you to introduce your nationality or where you're from. 我是 plus a place plus 人我是人 We know 我是 means I am. 我是 and 人 means person. 人 For example, if you are from the United States, you can say 我是美国人美国 means the United States of America, and 美国人 is American. 我是美国人，我是英国人。英国 is UK, and 英国人 British. 我是英国人。Other than country names, you can also put your hometown or home state in this pattern. Say I'm from Sichuan Province. 我是。Sichuan 人 I am a Sichuan person, or I'm from Sichuan. 我是四川人 If I'm from Beijing, Beijing, I can say 我是
Beijing 人 I'm a Beijing person, or I'm from Beijing. 我是北京人 After introducing who you are, what you do, and more things about you, there are certain phrases you can use to end your self-introduction. One of the most commonly used phrases that also shows your humbleness is, 请多指教请多指教，请 means please. 请多 literally means、um, a lot, but can be translated as do in this context. 多 and 指教 means to teach and guide or to give advice. 指教 together. 请多指教请多指教 The last phrase is used when you are introduced to someone who you've heard about. 久仰，久仰 means I've heard about you for a long time. It's equivalent to it's an honor to meet you. 久仰 This is a complimentary phrase that is typically used on someone who is more accomplished and known for what they've done in a certain field. 久仰 and traditionally it is said with this gesture. 久仰，久仰。Well, time to recap. Imagine you are Jack, and you're from Canada. You're in a Chinese classroom. Let's try to make a very short self-introduction. First, say, "Hi, everyone. My name is Jack." Can you try? 大家好，我叫 Jack. 大家好，我叫 Jack. Now tell them you are from Canada, which in Chinese is 加拿大 Say I'm from Canada or I'm Canadian. 我是加拿大人我是加拿大人 Lastly, end your introduction by humbly saying, "Please give me advice and correct me." This set phrase is. 请多指教，请多指教。Now let's put these three sentences together and make a complete self-introduction. Are you ready? 大家好，我叫 Jack， 我是加拿大人，请多指教。Want to learn Chinese fast? Get cheat sheets for all kinds of topics, travel, hobbies, love, and much more. And you will learn all of the must-know words and phrases for each. So, click the link in the listen description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. 再见 Hello, everyone. Today we are going to learn ten hardest words to pronounce in Chinese. Okay, let's begin. 去 To go, 去 to go, 去 also have the meaning is last. For example, last year, 去年去登山 to go hiking. Watch me, 去去 you you just like you want to kiss somebody, 去去去 and your tongue touch your teeth, 去去去 yeah you did good. 喝水 Drink water, 喝水 Drink water. The hard part is the 水水 But in the Carol life, we just speak like 水水 It's totally okay. No one speak 水喝水 It's okay. 四十 Forty. You just imagine the word slim. This one didn't have the vibration here, but for The four, s, you have the vibration, s, 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 s. You you can he, touch here and、uh, make sure that this here is a vibration is correct. And、uh, for sh, you just、uh, imagine the word shift, shift, sh, sh, sh. You add some vibration here, sh, 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 sh. Yeah, it's right.
Uh, next, I want to share you a tongue twister. Are you ready? 四十四，十是十，十四是十四，四十是四十。啊啊！姜 ，ginger， 姜 ，ginger。Okay, guys, I want to share a Chinese line to you. 姜还是老的啦。The meaning from the words means the older ginger. It's more spicy than the younger ginger, but the real meaning is like the senior person or the older person can handle the more complicated situation than the younger person. Day, 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 holiday, 节日 What's your favorite holiday? 你最喜欢的节日是什么？ Ah,、uh, 我最喜欢的节日是国庆日 My favorite holiday is a national day, because we have one week holiday. Ha 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 ha. Chinese, Chinese language. Chinese Chinese language. Ah,、uh, you you can just say Yu. Chinese Yu is okay for the casual way. I'm studying Chinese language. 我正在学汉语。More casual way, uh, just like 我正在学汉语 Yes, you see that 语汉语 is okay. 知道 no, 知道 no. I know the hard part is 知 You just imagine the word manage. Ch didn't vibration. You just add vibration. 知 is okay. And、uh, for a sentence, okay, come here, come here. Do you know her name? 你知道她的名字吗？脚 ，foot， 脚 ，foot， and also it can use for feet. My foot got injured. Oh, 我的脚受伤了。I can't walk. 我不能走路了。脚 ，g e o， 脚。But you can say 脚。轮 ，well， 轮 ，well， and also Is a word 轮胎 means tire. Uh, you can speak. Ah,、uh, 我的轮胎坏了。嗯，车子不走了。辞职 resign. 辞职 resign. I know the hard part is 辞 You just imagine barbecue. 辞辞辞辞辞辞。Okay. 我不想干了。我要辞职。That means. I don't want to work here anymore. I want to resign. Ah,、uh, resign letter means 辞职信，辞职信 And you also the very official way to say is 辞呈 Okay, guys. Today we did the ten hardest words to pronounce. Which one is hardest for you? Please comment. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh. Please subscribe. Beijing, 欢迎你 Beijing, welcome you. Please come here. Welcome to Introduction to Chinese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by. Hi, everyone. I'm Ray. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Chinese grammar. Word order refers to the order in which words are structured to form a sentence in a given language. The basic word order for English is subject, verb, object, or SVO for short. Let's break down the English sentence "I ate an apple." We can see that the subject "I" is presented first. Followed by the verb "ate," and then finally the object "apple" is positioned last. This is the basic word order for sentences in English. Now let's compare that same sentence. I ate an apple in Chinese. 我吃了一个苹果 If we break down this sentence, we will have 我 I, which is a subject, 吃了 which means ate or have eaten, a verb. Next. The object, 一个苹果 an apple. So the order is subject plus verb 
plus object, or SVO for short. This is exactly the same order as in English. Let's try another basic sentence. I like Chinese. I is 我, like is 喜欢. Chinese is 中文, so we put the subject first, then the verb, and then the object. All together we have 我喜欢中文. Now you know the word order in Chinese. Let's try to add more components to basic words to make longer sentences. Adding a time phrase in Chinese sentences is a little different than in English. In English, we put the when phrase in the last part of the sentence. For example, I eat an apple every day. In Chinese, we put the time phrase after the subject. So we need to put every day after I. So we have 我, I, 每天, every day, 吃, eat, 一个苹果, an apple. Subject plus time phrase plus verb plus object. 我每天吃一个苹果. 我的姐姐明天去美国. 我的, my, 姐姐, older sister. 明天, tomorrow. 去, go to, 美国, the United States. My older sister is going to the U.S. tomorrow. 我的姐姐, to add places, put them after the time phrases. For example, I eat an apple every day at home. In Chinese, that's 我每天在家吃一个苹果。在家 means at home. So it's I every day at home eat an apple. 我每天在家吃一个苹果。Let's try another one. I was born in the U.S. in 1990. Remember, subject, time, place, and then verb. 我1990年在美国出生。我1990年在美国出生。1990年 to form negative sentences, there are two ways for two circumstances. You can use 不 or 没有. We use 不 in present tense sentences, or when you don't want to do something. 我不喜欢中文. I don't like Chinese. 我不去. I'm not going. 我不吃. I don't want to eat. We use 没有 in past tense, meaning didn't or haven't done something. 我没有吃苹果. I didn't eat the apple. 我的姐姐昨天没有去美国. My older sister didn't go to the U.S. yesterday. To form yes or no questions in Chinese, it can't be easier. Just add a question marker, m, at the end of a statement. You like Chinese is 你喜欢中文. To make it do you like Chinese, we simply put m at the end. 你喜欢中文吗? Let's make 你每天在家吃一个苹果 a yes or no question. 你每天在家吃一个苹果吗? Now you know how to ask questions with a yes or no answer. But how do you ask questions using question words, such as what, when, where, how, why, and which? Let's put the above questions words into two groups. We put what, which, and where after the verb. It's like replacing the object with a question word. For example, what do you like? 你喜欢什么? 你, you, 喜欢? Like, 什么, what? Which one do you like? 你喜欢哪个? 你, you, 喜欢, like, 哪个, which one? Where do you like? 你喜欢哪里? 你, you, 喜欢, like, 哪里, where? And for the rest of the question words, we put them before the verb. So it's subject, question word, verb, object. In some cases, you can omit the object to make the sentence concise. When are you going? 你什么时候去? 你, you. 什么时候? 玩, 去, go. Why are you going to the U.S.? 你为什么去美国? 你, you. 为什么? Why? 去, go to. 
美国 the United States. How are you going to go? 你怎么去？你 you 怎么 how 去 go? If we have a sentence with both a time phrase and a question word, which should go first? Just remember, question words are always stuck with verbs. So in this case, it would be subject, time phrase, question word, then verb. 你明天怎么去？你 you 明天 tomorrow 怎么 how 去 go? How are you going to go tomorrow? Basically. Questions have the same order as SVO statements. Just remember to stick the right question words in the right places, and don't forget the question mark. Well done. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that Chinese uses the exact same SVO word order as English. From this, you learned how to form affirmative and negative sentences, and finally, you learned how to convert an affirmative sentence into a question. We've covered only the very basics of Chinese grammar. If you're interested in learning more, check out our Chinese in Three Minutes video series. In that course, we teach you useful phrases while covering the fundamentals of Chinese grammar, and each lesson is only three minutes long. In the next lesson, we're going to introduce you to Chinese writing. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Bye. Hi, everybody. My name is Ray. Welcome to ChineseClass11.com. Today we're going to cover ten phrases to use when you are angry. Okay, let's get started. 这不关你的事 is none of your business. 这不关你的事 is none of your business. I guess everywhere you will meet somebody who likes spying on your privacy in China too. So if if you're annoyed, but sometimes I think in China it's a little different. Some people just want show concern. Um, for you, especially、uh, if they know you are a foreigner, so they maybe kill you a little too much. So don't feel so offended easily.、Um, and、uh, if you feel is、uh, you feel really uncomfortable, you can say, "This 不关你的事 It's none of your business. This 不关你的事闭嘴 Shut up. This one comparing to the last one is a little strong. I don't use it so often, unless I'm in a fight with my boyfriend, because I couldn't use it with my parents or even my friends or my colleague when we have some disagreement. I don't use it. It's a little too rude and strong. 闭嘴 Yeah, I only use it with my boyfriend. I'm sorry. 别管我 Leave me alone. I use this one、mm, much more than 闭嘴，别管我。Um, for example, when my parents are always concern, have you found a job yet? How about you and your boyfriend? When are you gonna get married? Um, like, did you eat yet? Have you eaten yet? Have you had your breakfast yet? Have you had breakfast every day? Like, I would say, ah,、oh, 别管我，别管我，烦死了。It's annoying. 别管我 ，but. If I say "shut up," that's like, hmm, uh, too disrespectful. Yeah, leave me alone is a little strong, but not so as disrespectful as "shut up," 闭嘴 Shut up is rude. 你在跟我开玩笑吗 Are you kidding me? You use this sentence in a in a context that when your friend or When your friend give you、uh, some silly, impractical suggestion to your problem, like "Are you kidding me?" You 在跟我开玩笑吗 How, how come you give me such a, a suggestion which I cannot use? Yeah, 随便 whatever, whatever, 随便 Ah,、uh, when you feel when you get annoyed when somebody is. Telling you something which doesn't interest you at all, like your friend is bragging about his business, about his achievements, about how much, how much savings he has, or、so, whatever. It's not my business. 这不关我的事，随便你。嗯、hmm. ，It's like that. Whatever, 随便。Or you can use it. For example, if I 
ask my friend to go to dinner. Hey, what do you want? What are you in the mood for for tonight's dinner? So you can say, oh, whatever, 随便 um, whatever is good for me. So it's it doesn't necessarily means you're angry. Just means you don't care for the food tonight. Whatever is good for me tonight. 随便少来这一套 Cut it out. If I made my parents mad, especially my mom, I will, I will give my mom a puppy eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, and I will pretend to cry, and I feel very guilty. I know I'm wrong, and I want, I want my mom stop being mad at me. So I always play this trick to get my, get the sympathy from my mom. So my mom will say. Hey, 少来这一套 I already know what you're doing. You're just、uh, pretending to be guilty. Yeah, it's like cut it out. 少来这一套 I've already known that your trick. Yeah, this is your trick. You don't even feel sorry from the bottom of your heart. Yeah, 少来这一套 Cut it out. 我不想和你说话 I don't want to talk to you. 我不想 means I don't want to. I want to. Means 我想 want is 想 I want to. 我想 I don't want to. 我不想 So when you get angry, um, at least for me, when I get angry or get annoyed, get upset, I don't want to talk to everybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. So if somebody get want to talk to me, I will say, Oh, I'm sorry. Ah,、uh, 我不想和你说话，很抱歉。I'm not in the mood for talking with you. I'm sorry. So it's not actually, it's not necessarily very disrespectful. It's just、uh, speaking. It's just telling your friend you're not in the mood for talking. 我不想和你说话 I don't feel well. 我心烦意乱 I'm upset. 我心烦意乱 I'm upset. 心烦意乱 It's a little. Literal language, we do not really use it so often. For the spoken version, for spoken Chinese, we may say, "I am 心烦我心烦 That's pretty enough for expressing your upset mood. Yeah, I feel upset. I am 心烦我心烦我很心烦 Hmm, I think 我很心烦 I feel upset. I am upset. 那又怎样 ？So what? 那又怎样 ？So what? This sounds like a bad kid who doesn't care about his academic record when you encouraged him to study hard. It's like, hey, you should study hard, otherwise you cannot find a job. Ah,、uh, hey, you should study hard, otherwise you cannot pass this class. And the bad kid will say, hey, so what? If I don't pass this class, so what? 那又怎样？如果我考试不及格，不及格 is fail the class， 不合格，不及格。So what? 那又怎样 ？It's like, hey, whatever. I don't care. 那又怎样？你以为你是谁 ？Who do you think you are? 你以为你是谁 ？Who do you think you are? So, like in a company, if you work. You have many colleagues. When you have a fight with your colleague, and your colleague trying to correct what you should do, and、uh, your way of doing things is not good, if you feel annoyed and you feel your way is better than him, and you can say, "Who do you think you are? You're not my boss. You're not my supervisor. Why do you talk to me in that tone?" 你以为你是谁 It means like you're not my boss. Thank you for watching today's Chinese Class One One dot com class. Let us know how will you express your anger when you are fighting with somebody. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hi guys. Welcome to this lesson. Today we are going to learn ten questions you should know.
Okay, let's get started. 你住在哪儿 Where do you live? 你住在哪儿 Where do you live? Which street? 住哪条街啊、uh, Which building? 住哪个房子 And also, you can just say that I live with my parents. 我住父母家 Or I live in hotel. 我住宾馆你叫什么名字 What's your name? 你叫什么名字 What's your name? Ah,、uh, it's a really common and basic question. That's the more advanced. Like, 您贵姓 It's very respect to this person. Just、uh, ask what's your family name. And also in China, 嗯，您贵姓 is more common than what's your name. Maybe. <laughs> 你好，你叫什么名字？我叫包雨婷 It's more advanced. Conversation. Ah,、uh, 您好，呃、uh, ，请问您贵姓？免贵姓包。你在哪儿工作 ？Where do you work? 你在哪儿工作 ？Where do you work? Maybe you can answer like the city. For example, 我在北京工作。I work in Beijing. And also, you can answer the company name. You can answer like, 呃、uh, ，我在某某公司工作。你多大了？ How old are you? 你多大了 How old are you? Hey hey hey! It's a secret question. But for this sentence, 你多大了 It's like to ask the small children, age from three years old to twelve years old, maybe. Uh, it's like, 嗯，小朋友，你多大啦 And、uh, for the teenager, especially for girl, you can ask like, "Uh, 您芳龄几何？<laughs> 请问您芳龄 It also means, "Uh, please tell me your age." And、uh, for the senior person, you can never, never use this sentence like, 您多大了？您几岁 ？Oh no, you, you must、uh, ask like, 请问您高寿？你来自哪儿 ？Where are you from？ 你来自哪儿 ？Where are you from？ If you really want to know the the hometown, you must ask. 啊、uh, ，您老家是哪里 ？That means where is your hometown? Where are you come from? And if you just、uh, speak, 啊、uh, ，您来自哪儿？你来自哪儿 ？Maybe I can answer like, 啊、uh, ，I came from Beijing University. 你说什么？ What did you say? 你说什么 What did you say? If you can't hear clearly about the question or the word from other people, you can ask. 啊啊，不好意思，您说什么 If you feel very shocked about the words, you you can speak like. 啊，你说什么 It's 什么<笑>洗手间在哪儿 Where is the bathroom? 洗手间在哪儿 Where is the bathroom? It's a survival Chinese, guys. You must、uh, know that. And also, I highly recommend it. You speak more polite, like, "Oh, 不好意思，请问一下，洗手间在哪儿 The person maybe will answer you. Ah,、uh, 你看，就在那边 ，just over there. 你在哪里学的中文 Where did you learn Chinese? 你在哪里学的中文 ？Where did you learn Chinese? I learned from YouTube channel. 我从 YouTube 视频上学的。I learned by myself. 我自学的。啊、uh, ，我的专业是中文。My major is Chinese. I learned from school. 我从学校里学的。你学中文多久了 ？How long have you been studying Chinese? 你学中文多久了 ？How long have you been studying Chinese? 一个月，两个月。呃、uh, ，be attention about 个 ，one month, two months, and also you can speak one year, two year. There is no 个 If you don't want to tell the person how long time, the exactly time, you can speak. Ah,、uh, 没有多长时间 ，not so much time, or Ah,、uh, it's been a long time. Ah,、uh, 学了很久了。你的生日是什么时候 ？When is your birthday? 
。你的生日是什么时候 ？When is your birthday? For a Chinese person,、uh, like my family, it's a traditional family, so we use the a lunar calendar, 阴历 And I will say, 我的阴历生日是几月几号 And、uh, for you, absolutely, you use the Western calendar. If you want to shock the native speaker, you can answer like, 我的阳历生日是几月几号 That means, ah,、uh, my Western calendar birthday is, uh, which month, which day? Okay, that's all for today. Today we learn ten questions you must know in Chinese. And guys, if there you have any questions you want to know, and、uh, about the question you don't know how to answer in Chinese, you can comment below. Let me know. I can answer that. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. My hobby is take photo. 我的兴趣是摄影 What's your hobby, guys? 你的兴趣是什么 Please comment. Welcome to Introduction to Chinese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by. Hi, everyone. I'm Ray. In this series, you will learn everything you need to know to get started learning Chinese. That's right, and we are here to help guide you on your journey. In this lesson, you'll learn the reasons why you should start learning Chinese and how to get started. Chinese is a super language with many dialects. Cantonese, for instance, is a dialect of Chinese. In mainland China, in order for people speaking different dialects to understand and communicate with each other, a standard and official language was created based on Beijing dialect. It's called Mandarin Chinese. 普通话 This literally means the common dialect. Mandarin Chinese is so widely spoken that it's not only in China. Other countries like Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia use Mandarin as an everyday language as well. Statistics show that more than 14% of the world population are native Mandarin speakers, which makes Mandarin the most spoken native language in the world. Being able to speak Mandarin Chinese means you will be able to communicate with one sixth of the people on this planet, which you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Who knows? One of them could be your future husband or wife. Besides the large Chinese-speaking population, China is also one of the oldest civilizations in the world, with over 5,000 years of rich history. Did you know that the terracotta army, which is a collection of terracotta sculptures, was built in 209 BCE? They were buried upon the death of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, in order to protect him in his afterlife. Today, you can visit them in Xi'an province of China. Being able to speak Chinese will definitely help you understand the story behind this magnificent world heritage. Chinese culture has had a huge influence on cultures throughout Asia. In terms of language, Chinese language shaped many other languages, similar to the way Latin shaped the languages of Europe. Chinese characters have been introduced to most of the Asian languages, such as Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, and Thai. Even today, kanji or Chinese characters is still part of the Japanese writing system. By learning Chinese, you will be able to understand and appreciate different aspects of ancient Chinese and Asian cultures, such as calligraphy, paintings. Poetry, music, and architecture. This makes touring around Asia all the easier. Last but not least, China is the second largest economy in the world. Since China opened its doors to the West in the late 70s, the Chinese government has been working on bringing foreign investment and economic cooperation to the country. This creates many employment opportunities for foreigners to work in China. China is also one of the fastest-growing nations as well. The future of China is promising. That's why many companies now do business with China, and why many movies set in the future show China as a superpower and a global influencer. Learning Chinese will allow you to have a leg up on the future. This can mean big things for your career and might help you land your dream job. Even if you don't work and live in China, being able to speak Chinese will give you an edge when competing for employment opportunities in your own country. Chinese is often called one of the most difficult languages in the world. It is certainly a challenge, but it's not as difficult as you might think. 
Chinese grammar is actually pretty easy. It has the same sentence order as English. Plus, there are no noun plural forms and verb tenses to memorize. Even the four tones are not that difficult. Pay attention when native speakers are talking and mimic their pronunciation. You will definitely get the hang of it. Plus, many Chinese people, especially the younger Chinese, speak some English. They're always so eager to help you. You'll find a lot of teachers once you let people know you're studying Chinese. Most importantly, we're here to offer you any help you might need while learning Chinese. Let's get started by looking at a couple of common Chinese phrases. To express your gratitude, you say, 谢谢. 谢谢. You can use this phrase in any occasion and under any circumstances. To make your gratitude more heartfelt, you can add, 你, which means you. 谢谢你. It makes your thank you sound more personal and polite. So to say thanks or thank you, you can say, 谢谢 or 谢谢你. Let's look at another well-known phrase. 我爱你. Do you know what that means? 我 means I. 爱 means love. 你 means you. So, 我爱你 means I love you. Exactly the same order as in English. If the Chinese characters or 汉字 look daunting, don't worry. There's a romanization system for all the Chinese characters in Mandarin called pinyin. With the help of pinyin, you should be able to pronounce any Chinese words you see, no problem. We'll get into that in a later episode of this series. Well done! Now you know how to say thank you, 谢谢, or 谢谢你, in Chinese. We've covered a lot of things already, so why don't we wrap up the first lesson and recap on what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that studying another language has many benefits, such as providing new job and business opportunities. China has a colorful history with many things for you to see and learn. And to say thank you in Chinese, it's 谢谢. In the next lesson, we're going to demystify Chinese pronunciation by taking a look at the sounds and tones of Chinese. So be sure to watch the next video. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to learn 10 hardest words to pronounce in Chinese. Okay, let's begin. Chu to go. Chu to go. Chu also has the meaning is last. For example, last year, Chu Nian. Chu Dengshan to go hiking. Watch me. Chu. Chu. You, you just like you want to kiss somebody. Chu. 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 And your tongue touch your teeth. Chu. 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 Yeah, you did good. 喝水, drink water. 喝水, drink water. The hard part is that 水, 水, But in the Carol life, we just speak like 水, 水. It's totally okay. No one speak 水, 喝水. It's okay. 四十, 40. You just imagine the word slim. This one s -s didn't have the vibration here, but for the four, s, you have the vibration. S -s 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 -s. You, you can he touch here and uh, make sure that this here is a vibration is correct. And uh, for shi, you just uh, imagine the word shift. Shift. Sh -sh -sh. You add some vibration here. Sh -sh. 十, 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 十. Yeah, that's right. And next, I want to share you a tongue twister. Are you ready? 四十四,十是十,十四是十四,四十是四十,四十是四十。Ah, <laughs> ginger, jiang, ginger. Okay, guys, I want to share a Chinese line to you. Jiang is older. The meaning from the words means the older ginger is more spicy than the younger ginger. But the real meaning is like the senior person or the older person can handle the more complicated situation than the younger person. 日, 
day， 日 day holiday 节日。What's your favorite holiday？ 你最喜欢的节日是什么？啊、uh, ，我最喜欢的节日是国庆日。My favorite holiday is a national day because we have one week holiday. 哈哈哈哈。汉语 ，Chinese language。汉语 Chinese language, uh, you you can just say 语汉语 is okay for the casual way. I'm studying Chinese language. 我正在学汉语 More casual way, uh, just like 我正在学汉语 Yes, you see that 语汉语 is okay. 知道 No, 知道 No, I know the hard part is 知 You just imagine the word manage. Ch didn't vibration. You just add vibration. J is okay. And、uh, for a sentence, okay, come here, come here. Do you know her name? 你知道她的名字吗？脚 foot 脚 foot. And also, it can use for feet. My foot got injured. Oh, 我的脚受伤了 I can't walk. 我不能走路了。脚 ，G E O 脚 ，But you can say 脚。轮 ，Well， 轮 ，Well，And also is a word 轮胎 ，means tire。呃、uh, ，You can speak， 呃、uh, ，我的轮胎坏了，嗯，车子不走了。辞职 ，Resign， 辞职 ，Resign。I know the hard part is to you just imagine barbecue. To okay, 我不想干了，我要辞职。That means I don't want to work here anymore. I want to resign. A、uh, resign letter means 辞职信，辞职信。And you also the very official way to say is 辞呈。Okay, guys, today we did the. Ten hardest words to pronounce. Which one is hardest for you? Please comment. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh, please subscribe. Beijing, 欢迎你 Beijing, welcome you. Please come here. Welcome to Introduction to Chinese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by. Hi, everyone. I'm Ray. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Chinese grammar. Word order refers to the order in which words are structured to form a sentence in a given language. The basic word order for English is subject, verb, object, or SVO for short. Let's break down the English sentence "I ate an apple." We can see that the subject "I" is presented first. Followed by the verb "ate," and then finally the object "apple" is positioned last. This is the basic word order for sentences in English. Now let's compare that same sentence. I ate an apple in Chinese. 我吃了一个苹果 If we break down this sentence, we will have 我 I, which is a subject, 吃了 which means ate or have eaten, a verb. Next. The object, 一个苹果 an apple. So the order is subject plus verb plus object, or SVO for short. This is exactly the same order as in English. Let's try another basic sentence. I like Chinese. I is 我 like is 喜欢 Chinese is 中文 So we put the subject first, then the verb. And then the object. All together, we have. 我喜欢中文 Now you know the word order in Chinese. Let's try to add more components to basic words to make longer sentences. Adding a time phrase in Chinese sentences is a little different than in English. In English, we put the when phrase in the last part of the sentence. For example, I eat an apple every day. 
In Chinese, we put the time phrase after the subject. So we need to put every day after I. So we have 我, I, 每天, every day, 吃, eat, 一个苹果, an apple. Subject plus time phrase plus verb plus object. 我每天吃一个苹果, 我的姐姐明天去美国, 我的, my, 姐姐, older sister, 明天, tomorrow, 去, go to, 美国, the United States. My older sister is going to the U.S. tomorrow. 我的姐姐明天去美国. To add places, put them after the time phrases. For example, I eat an apple every day at home. In Chinese, that's 我每天在家吃一个苹果. 在家 means at home. So it's I every day at home eat an apple. 我每天在家吃一个苹果. Let's try another one. I was born in the U.S. in 1990. Remember, subject, time, place, and then verb. 我 1990年在美国出生。我1990年在美国出生。To form negative sentences, there are two ways for two circumstances. You can use 不 or 没有。We use 不 in present tense sentences, or when you don't want to do something. 我不喜欢中文。I don't like Chinese. 我不去, I'm not going. 我不吃, I don't want to eat. We use 没有 in past tense, meaning didn't or haven't done something. 我没有吃苹果. I didn't eat the apple. 我的姐姐昨天没有去美国. My older sister didn't go to the U.S. yesterday. To form yes or no questions in Chinese, it can't be easier. Just add a question marker, m at the end of a statement. You like Chinese is 你喜欢中文. To make it do you like Chinese, we simply put m at the end. 你喜欢中文吗? Let's make 你每天在家吃一个苹果 a yes or no question. 你每天在家吃一个苹果吗? Now you know how to ask questions with a yes or no answer. But how do you ask questions using question words, such as what, when, where, how, why, and which? Let's put the above questions words into two groups. We put what, which, and where after the verb. It's like replacing the object with a question word. For example, what do you like? 你喜欢什么? 你, you, 喜欢. Like, 什么, what? Which one do you like? 你喜欢哪个? 你, you, 喜欢, like, 哪个, which one? Where do you like? 你喜欢哪里? 你, you, 喜欢, like, 哪里, where? And for the rest of the question words, we put them before the verb, so it's subject, question word, verb, object. In some cases, you can omit the object to make the sentence concise. When are you going? 你什么时候去? 你, you. 什么时候? 玩, 去, go. Why are you going to the U.S.? 你为什么去美国? 你, you. 为什么? Why? 去, go to. 美国, the United States. How are you going to go? 你怎么去? 你, you, 怎么, how, 去, go. If we have a sentence with both a time phrase and a question word, which should go first? Just remember, question words are always stuck with verbs. So in this case, it would be subject, time phrase, question word, then verb. 你明天怎么去? 你, you, 明天, tomorrow, 怎么, how? 去, go. How are you going to go tomorrow? Basically, questions have the same order as SVO statements. 
Just remember to stick the right question words in the right places. And don't forget the question mark. Well done. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that Chinese uses the exact same SVO word order as English. From this, you learned how to form affirmative and negative sentences. And finally, you learned how to convert an affirmative sentence into a question. We've covered only the very basics of Chinese grammar. If you're interested in learning more, check out our Chinese in 3 Minutes video series. In that course, we teach you useful phrases while covering the fundamentals of Chinese grammar, and each lesson is only 3 minutes long. In the next lesson, we're going to introduce you to Chinese writing. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Bye! Hi, everybody! My name is Ray. Welcome to ChineseClass11.com. Today, we're going to cover 10 phrases to use when you are angry. Okay, let's get started. 这不关你的事 is none of your business. 这不关你的事 is none of your business. I guess everywhere you will meet somebody who likes spying on your privacy in China too. So if you feel annoyed, but sometimes I think in China it's a little different. Some people just won't show concern. Um, for you, especially uh, if they know you are a foreigner, so they maybe kill you a little too much. So don't feel so offended easily. Um, and uh, if you feel it's, uh, you feel really uncomfortable, you can say, 这不关你的事, It's none of your business. 这不关你的事, 闭嘴, shut up. This one comparing to the last one is a little strong. I don't use it so often, unless I'm in a fight with my boyfriend, because I couldn't use it with my parents or even my friends or my colleague when we have some disagreement. I don't use it. It's a little too rude and strong. 闭嘴. Yeah, I only use it with my boyfriend. I'm sorry. <laughs> 别管我, leave me alone. I use this one mm, much more than 闭嘴, 别管我. Um, for example, when my parents are always concern, have you found a job yet? How about you and your boyfriend? When are you going to get married? Um, like, did you eat yet? Have you eaten yet? Have you had your breakfast yet? Have you had breakfast every day? Like, I would say, oh, 别管我, 别管我, 烦死了. It's annoying, 别管我. But, if I say shut up, that's like hmm, uh, too disrespectful. Yeah, leave me alone is a little strong, but not so as disrespectful as shut up, 闭嘴. Shut up is rude. 你在跟我开玩笑吗? Are you kidding me? You use this sentence on a, in a context that when your friend or when your friend give you uh, some silly, impractical suggestion to your problem. Like, are you kidding me? 你在跟我开玩笑吗? How, how come you give me such a, a suggestion which I cannot use? Yeah. 随便, whatever, whatever, 随便. Uh, when you feel, when you get annoyed when somebody is telling you something which doesn't interest you at all. Like your friend is bragging about his business, about his achievements, about how much how much savings he has, is it, whatever. It's not my business. It's like that. Whatever. Or you can use it, for example, if I Ask my friend to go to dinner. Hey, what do you want? What are you in the mood for for tonight's dinner? So you can say, oh, whatever, 随便. Um, whatever is good for me. So it's it doesn't necessarily mean you're angry. Just means you don't care for the food tonight. Whatever is good for me tonight. 随便. 少来这一套. Cut it out. If I made my parents mad, especially my mom, I will, I will give my mom a puppy eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, and I will pretend to cry, and you know, I feel very guilty. I know I'm wrong, and I want 
I want my mom stop being mad at me. So I always play this trick to get my get the sympathy from my mom. So my mom will say, "Hey, 少来这一套 I already know what you're doing. You're just、uh, pretending to be guilty. Yeah, it's like cut it out. 少来这一套 I've already known that your trick. Yeah, this is your trick. You don't even feel sorry from the bottom of your heart. Yeah, 少来这一套 Cut it out. 我不想和你说话 I don't want to talk to you. 我不想 means I don't want to. I want to means 我想 Want is 想 I want to. 我想 I don't want to. 我不想 So when you get angry, um, at least for me, when I get angry or get annoyed, get upset, I don't want to talk to everybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. So if somebody get want to talk to me, I will say, "Oh, I'm sorry. I 我不想和你说话 I'm 抱歉 I'm not in the mood for talking with you. I'm sorry." So it's not actually, it's not necessarily very disrespectful. It's just、uh, speaking. It's just telling your friend you're not in the mood for talking. 我不想和你说话 I don't feel well. 我心烦意乱 I'm upset. 我心烦意乱 I'm upset. 心烦意乱 is a little literal language. We do not really use it so often. For the spoken version, for spoken Chinese, we may say, "I am very angry." That's pretty enough for expressing your upset mood. Yeah, I feel upset. I am very angry. I am very angry. I am very angry. I think I am very angry. I feel upset. I am upset. Then what else? So what? 那又怎样 So what? This sounds like a bad kid who doesn't care about his academic record when you encouraged him to study hard. It's like, hey, you should study hard, otherwise you cannot find a job. Ah,、uh, hey, you should study hard, otherwise you cannot pass this class. And the bad kid will say, hey, so what? If I don't pass this class, so what? 那又怎样如果我考试不及格，不及格 is fail the class， 不合格，不及格。So what？ 那又怎样 ？It's like hey whatever， I don't care。那又怎样？你以为你是谁 ？Who do you think you are？ 你以为你是谁 ？Who do you think you are？ So like in a company， if you work， you have many colleagues。When you have a fight with your colleague and your colleague trying to correct what you should do, and、uh, your way of doing things is not good, if you feel annoyed and you feel your way is better than him, and you can say, "Who do you think you are? You're not my boss. You're not my supervisor. Why do you talk to me in that tone?" 你以为你是谁 It means like, "You're not my boss." Thank you for watching today's Chinese Class One One dot com class. Let us know how will you express your anger when you are fighting with somebody. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. And I will see you next time. Bye. Welcome to this lesson. Today we are going to learn ten questions you should know. Okay, let's get started. 你住在哪儿 Where do you live? 你住在哪儿 Where do you live? Which street? 住哪条街 Ah,、uh, which building? 住哪个房子 And also, you can just say that I live with my parents. 我住父母家 Or I live in hotel. 我住宾馆。你叫什么名字 ？What's your name? 你叫什么名字 ？What's your name? Ah,、huh, it's a really common and basic question. That's the more advanced. Like, 您贵姓 ？Is very respect to this person. Just、uh, ask what's your family name, 
And also in China, Yin mm, Gui Xing is more common than what's your name? Maybe. Ni hao, ni jia shen men It's more advanced conversation. Ah, ni hao, qing wen ning gui xing, mian gui xing bao. Ni zai nar gong zuo? Where do you work? Ni zai nar gong zuo? Where do you work? Maybe you can answer like the city. For example, 我在北京工作, I work in Beijing. And also you can answer the company name. You can also like, uh, 我在某某公司工作. 你多大了? How old are you? 你多大了? How old are you? Hey, hey, hey. It's a secret question. But for this sentence, 你多大了? It's like to ask the small children age from 3 years old to 12 years old, maybe. Uh, it's like, mm, 小朋友,你多大啦? And uh, for the teenager, especially for girl, you can ask like, uh, 您芳龄几何? <laughs> 请问您芳龄? It also means, uh, please tell me your age. And uh, for the senior person, you can never, never use this sentence like 您多大了? 您几岁? Oh, no. Y you must uh, ask like 请问您高寿? 你来自哪儿? Where are you from? 你来自哪儿? Where are you from? If you really want to know the, the hometown, you must ask uh, 您老家是哪里? That means, where is your hometown? Where are you come from? And uh, if you just uh, speak, uh, 您来自哪儿? 你来自哪儿? Maybe I can answer like, uh, I came from Beijing University. 你说什么? What did you say? 你说什么? What did you say? If you can't hear clearly about the question or the word from other people, you can ask, uh, uh, 不好意思,您说什么? If you feel very shocked about the words, you, you can speak like, uh, 你说什么? It's 什么? <laughs> 洗手间在哪儿? Where is the bathroom? 洗手间在哪儿? Where is the bathroom? It's a survival Chinese, guys. You must uh, know that. And also, I highly recommend it you speak more polite. Like, oh, 不好意思,请问一下,洗手间在哪儿? The person maybe will answer you, Ah, 你看,就在那边, just over there. 你在哪里学的中文? Where did you learn Chinese? 你在哪里学的中文? Where did you learn Chinese? I learned from YouTube channel. 我从YouTube视频上学的. I learned by myself. 我自学的. Uh, 我的专业是中文。My major is Chinese. I learned from school. 我从学校里学的。你学中文多久了? How long have you been studying Chinese? 你学中文多久了? How long have you been studying Chinese? 一个月? 两个月? Uh, be attention about 个. One month, two months. And also you can speak one year, two year. There is no 个. If you don't want to tell the person how long time, the exact time, you can speak, ah, 没有多长时间, not so much time, or uh, it's been a long time, uh, 学了很久了。你的生日是什么时候? When is your birthday? 你的生日是什么时候? When is your birthday? For a Chinese person, uh, like my family, it's a traditional family, so we use the uh, lunar calendar, Yin Li, and I will say, 我的阴历生日是几月几号? And uh, for you, absolutely, you use the Western calendar. If you want to shock the native speaker, you can answer like, 我的阳历生日是几月几号? That means uh, my Western calendar birthday is the, uh, which month, which day. Okay, that's all for today. Today we learn 10 
questions you must know in Chinese. And guys, if there you have any questions you want to know and uh, about the question you don't know how to answer in Chinese, you can comment below, let me know. I can answer that. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. My hobby is take photo. 我的兴趣是摄影. What's your hobby, guys? 你的兴趣是什么? Please comment. Welcome to Introduction to Chinese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by... Hi everyone, I'm Ray. In this series, you will learn everything you need to know to get started learning Chinese. That's right, and we are here to help guide you on your journey. In this lesson, you'll learn the reasons why you should start learning Chinese and how to get started. Chinese is a super language with many dialects. Cantonese, for instance, is a dialect of Chinese. In mainland China, in order for people speaking different dialects to understand and communicate with each other, a standard and official language was created based on Beijing dialect. It's called Mandarin Chinese. This literally means the common dialect. Mandarin Chinese is so widely spoken that it's not only in China. Other countries like Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia use Mandarin as an everyday language as well. Statistics show that more than 14% of the world population are native Mandarin speakers, which makes Mandarin the most spoken native language in the world. Being able to speak Mandarin Chinese means you will be able to communicate with one-sixth of the people on this planet. Which you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Who knows? One of them could be your future husband or wife. Besides the large Chinese-speaking population, China is also one of the oldest civilizations in the world, with over 5,000 years of rich history. Did you know that the Terracotta Army, which is a collection of terracotta sculptures, was built in 209 BCE? They were buried upon the death of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, in order to protect him in his afterlife. Today, you can visit them in Xi'an province of China. Being able to speak Chinese will definitely help you understand the story behind this magnificent world heritage. Chinese culture has had a huge influence on cultures throughout Asia. In terms of language, Chinese language shaped many other languages, similar to the way Latin shaped the languages of Europe. Chinese characters have been introduced to most of the Asian languages, such as Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, and Thai. Even today, kanji, or Chinese characters, is still part of the Japanese writing system. By learning Chinese, you will be able to understand and appreciate different aspects of ancient Chinese and Asian cultures, such as calligraphy, paintings, poetry, music, and architecture. This makes touring around Asia all the easier. Last but not least, China is the second largest economy in the world. Since China opened its doors to the West in the late 70s, the Chinese government has been working on bringing foreign investment and economic cooperation to the country. This creates many employment opportunities for foreigners to work in China. China is also one of the fastest growing nations as well. The future of China is promising. That's why many companies now do business with China, and why many movies that in the future show China as a superpower and a global influencer. Learning Chinese will allow you to have a leg up on the future. This can mean big things for your career and might help you land your dream job. Even if you don't work and live in China, being able to speak Chinese will give you an edge when competing for employment opportunities in your own country. Chinese is often called one of the most difficult languages in the world. It is certainly a challenge. But it's not as difficult as you might think. Chinese grammar is actually pretty easy. It has the same sentence order as English. Plus, there are no noun plural forms and verb tenses to memorize. Even the four tones are not that difficult. Pay attention when native speakers are talking and mimic their pronunciation. You will definitely get the hang of it. Plus, many Chinese people, especially the younger Chinese, speak some English. They're always so eager to help you. You'll find a lot of teachers once you let people know you're studying Chinese. Most importantly, we're here to offer you any help you might need while learning Chinese. Let's get started by looking at a couple of common Chinese phrases. To express your gratitude, you say 谢谢. 
谢谢 You can use this phrase in any occasion and under any circumstances. To make your gratitude more heartfelt, you can add 你, which means you. 谢谢你. It makes your thank you sound more personal and polite. So to say thanks or thank you, you can say 谢谢 or 谢谢你. Let's look at another well-known phrase. 我爱你. Do you know what that means? 我 means I. 爱 means love. 你 means you. So 我爱你 means I love you. Exactly the same order as in English. If the Chinese characters or 汉字 look daunting, don't worry. There's a romanization system for all the Chinese characters in Mandarin called pinyin. With the help of pinyin, you should be able to pronounce any Chinese words you see. No problem. We'll get into that in a later episode of this series. Well done. Now you know how to say thank you, 谢谢, or 谢谢你, in Chinese. We've covered a lot of things already, so why don't we wrap up the first lesson and recap on what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that studying another language has many benefits, such as providing new job and business opportunities. China has a colorful history with many things for you to see and learn. And to say thank you in Chinese, it's 谢谢. In the next lesson, we're going to demystify Chinese pronunciation by taking a look at the sounds and tones of Chinese. So be sure to watch the next video. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, today we are going to learn top 25 Chinese adjectives. So let's begin. 漂亮, pretty. Trust me, guys. Pretty is uh, can use for lots of situation. For example, the person is pretty. Uh, and the place is pretty. Uh, and also you can use for the food. The shu can't. And also how is a have another meaning is okay. You can say, ah, you are so kind person. Or the other one have the request of you. You can say, okay, how bright. And we also combine with the word a uh, spacious. 宽敞, uh, like 宽敞明亮, use it together to describe the new apartment or the big house. For example, uh, your new apartment is so spacious and bright. Ah, uh, big. Okay, guys, I can play a magic. I can make my face bigger and bigger. Look at me. 大, 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 小, small, small creature, 小生物, small insect, 小昆虫, <笑> 高, tall, Yao Ming is very tall. And do you know Yao Ming? It's famous face. <laughs> and also, Gao has another uh, meaning, it's a high. And for high, I can give you a sentence like uh, highly educated means 高学历. I short. Oh, I don't want to be short. 我不想这么矮. 长, long. The ruler is long. 这个尺子很长. And also you can to use the time like it's been a long time. 过了很长时间. 有趣, interesting. Uh, the more casual way is 很有意思. Mark is really interesting person. Mark is very interesting. Mark is very interesting. Climb the mountain is very interesting. Pashan is very interesting. It's both okay. Oh, that person was spitting on the ground. That's gross. Please don't do that. 那个人正在往地上吐痰,好恶心呀,请不要这么做。丑,ugly,帅的人一醒来, 
丑的人还在沉睡。<笑> Let's just be want to you know, wake up early and、uh, go to work early. 臭 smelly. Hee <laughs> hee. I want to introduce you a biochemical weapon. 臭袜子，哈哈。Smelly socks. 香 fragrant. Uh, you can describe this dish is fragrant. This dish smell good. 这个菜很香 or 这道菜很香 Fragrant add water. Change to perfume. 香水是 white. Ah, my clothes are white. 我的衣服被弄湿了湿润 humid. 湿润 For example, ah,、uh, the weather. In the south of China, it's humid. Ah,、uh, 中国南方的天气很湿润 It's good for my skin. 干燥 dry. In the north of China, my hometown, the weather is dry. 在中国北方，天气很干燥 especially in winter, 尤其是冬天黑暗 dark. What will you do in the dark night? 你们在黑暗的夜里会干什么？无聊 ，boring。无聊 ，boring。嗯嗯 ，this book is so boring. Let's watch the YouTube video to learn Chinese. 这本书很无聊，让我们一起看 YouTube 学中文吧。忙碌 ，busy。The life in the big city, like Shanghai and Beijing, is very busy. 在大城市，例如上海、北京的生活非常忙碌。热 ，hot. Eh, it's so hot here. Could you please turn on the air conditioner? 这里好热呀，你能帮我开一下空调吗？谢谢 ，Thank you. 冷 ，cold. In the North part of China in winter is super cold. Trust me, I came from here. 在中国北方，呃，在冬天的时候天气非常冷。好吃 ，tasty. Chinese food is very tasty. 中国菜很好吃。Trust me, guys. The words 好吃 is very useful. 难 ，hard. Mmm, the test is so hard. 这个考试好难呀。嗯、年轻 ，young. I'm a young person. 我是年轻人。I also want to tell you that, ah,、uh, in China, the young people can't afford the house. 嗯，在中国，年轻夫妇买不起房。柔软 ，soft. Hmm,、嗯、guys, my arm is really soft. 我的胳膊很柔软。But it, it can be hard, like this. Mm. It's hard. 硬，软，硬，软，硬，软。<laughs> okay, guys. Today we did the top twenty-five Chinese adjectives. Please tell me your favorite adjectives, and please comment, give me suggestions and idea. Thanks, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, that's all. Bye bye. See you next time. Take care. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kate. Today we are going to learn Chinese by telling a little story. The name of this story is 国王和他的故事。国王和他的故事 ，The King and His Stories。国王 means the king, the king， 国王。故事，故事，故事 means story, story。国王和他的故事，国王和他的故事 ，The King and His Stories。从前有一个国王 ，Once upon a time there was a king。从前 means once upon a time, once upon a time。有一个国王，有一个国王。There was a king. There was a king. 他喜欢写故事，但是他写的故事不好。He likes to write stories, but his stories were not good. 他喜欢写故事，喜欢喜欢 means like like 
写故事，写故事 ，write stories, write stories. 故事 means story, story. 但是，但是 ，but, but. 但是 means but. 他的故事不好，他的故事不好。His stories were not good. His stories were not good. 因为人们怕他，都说他的故事好。因为人们怕他，都说他的故事好。As people were afraid of him, they all said his stories were good. 因为因为 means as as, 怕怕 or 害怕 means afraid of afraid of. 好好 means good good. 有一天，国王把他的故事给一名作家看。One day, the king showed his stories to a writer. 有一天，有一天 means one day. One day, 作家，作家 means writer. Writer. 他想要作家赞扬这些故事 He wanted the writer to praise these stories. 想要，想要 means want or want to. Want to, want or want to. 赞扬，赞扬 means praise. Praise. 赞扬。但是作家说他的故事是如此的差。以至于该扔进火里。But the writer said his stories were so bad that he should throw them into fire. 扔进火里，扔进火里 means throw into fire. Throw into fire. 国王很生气，把他送到了监狱。The king got very angry with him and sent him to prison. 生气，生气 means angry, angry, and 监狱。监狱 means prison. Prison. 过了些日子，国王赦免了作家。After some time, the king set him free. 赦免，赦免 means set somebody free. Set somebody free. 赦免。国王重新将自己的一些新故事给作家看。Again, the king showed him some of his new stories. 新故事，新故事 means New stories, new stories. 新新 means new, new. 并问他感觉怎么样 ，and asked what he thought of them. 作家看了之后，立刻转身对士兵说 ，After reading them, the writer turned to the soldiers and said, 士兵，士兵 means soldiers, soldiers. 请把我送回监狱吧。Take me back to prison, please. 送回，送回 ，take somebody back to, take somebody back to. 送回，送回监狱，送回监狱 Take me back to prison. Take me back to prison. All right. So this is the whole story. It is actually a little joke, but I think it is very lovely, and yeah, it is very easy to learn. So let's try again. 从前有一个国王。他喜欢写故事，但是他写的故事不好，因为人们怕他，都说他的故事好。有一天，国王把他的故事给一名作家看，他想要作家赞扬他的这些故事，但是作家说他的故事是如此的差，以至于该扔进火里。国王很生气，把他送到了监狱。过了些日子。国王赦免了作家。国王重新将自己的一些新故事给作家看，并问他感觉怎么样。作家看了之后，立刻转身对士兵说：“请把我送回监狱吧。” I hope you guys like this story. If you like it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye. Welcome to Introduction to Chinese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by. Hi, everyone. I'm Ray. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Chinese writing. Unlike English, which is an alphabetic language, Chinese is written with characters. These represent both sound and meaning. Each hanzi has one syllable. One or more syllables make up a word. So in Chinese. A word can be made up of one or more hanzi. 
For example, the word Hanzi is made of two syllables. The first one, Han, means Chinese. All the Han people, which is a majority ethnic group in China. The second syllable, Zi, means word. So Han and Zi together means Chinese characters. Although there are more than fifty thousand characters in Chinese, you only need to know two to three thousand to be considered literate. Still, memorizing three thousand Chinese characters sounds like a huge challenge, but it's actually easier than you may think. All Chinese characters are made up of smaller components that are used over and over again in other characters. This means that by learning just one component, you can effectively learn multiple characters at the same time. Let's look at this aspect in more detail. Most Chinese characters are pictophonetic. They consist of a radical and a phonetic element. These are the technical terms for the components we just talked about. The radical often suggests the meaning of a character. The phonetic part indicates the original pronunciation, which may or may not be the modern pronunciation. For example, let's look at the character fan, rice or meal. Its radical is, which indicates that this word is related to food or eating. The second part, fan, is a phonetic element. It suggests that its pronunciation is close to the pronunciation of the character fan, meaning opposite. To be able to recognize and write Chinese characters, you should know the basic radicals. Now we'll give you a few of the most commonly used radicals. Ren or its variation means man or person. It's present in words like 你 you. 他, he, 众, the masses. 女, meaning woman, is in words like 妈, mom, 姐, older sister, 姑娘 girl. 心 or its variation, means heart. 想 to think. 意 to recall. 手 or its variation. Means hand. It usually appears when the word describes an action using hands, such as 打 to hit, 拉 to pull, 推 to push, 拿 to grab. 口 means mouth. Characters with this radical often involve using your mouth, such as 吃 to eat, 唱 to sing, 吞 To swallow, mu means eye, can to look or see, shui to sleep, yan or its variation means speech, shuo to speak or say, qing please or to invite, xie to thank, shui or its variation means water, hai ocean, he river. 洗 to wash. 火 or its variation means fire. For example, 烧 to burn. 灯 light. 热 hot. 衣 or its variation means clothing. 衬衫 shirt. 袋子 bag. Most radicals are at the left or bottom of a character. By identifying radicals. It should be much easier to decode the meaning of new characters. For the phonetic elements, it takes time and effort to memorize their pronunciations. The more you study them, the easier it will be. When writing in Chinese, it's important to know the order of strokes. Knowing the number of strokes is also important when you look up a word in a radical-based dictionary. Some characters can have many strokes, and they can get very complex. If they're not written in the correct order, some characters may even be unreadable. So learning the proper stroke order is quite important. Remember, write from left to right. Chuan, river. Ren, person. From top to bottom. San, three. Horizontal, then vertical. Shi. Ten. Two. Soil. Outside, then inside. 
月木。用 to use inside then close. 回 to return. 田 farmland. 小 the middle then the sides. 小 small. 水 water. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, we introduced you to the basics of Chinese characters. You also learned that Chinese characters are comprised of radicals. Finally, you learned some of the most common stroke patterns when writing Hanzi. In the next lesson, you'll be entering Chinese boot camp. Where you'll learn useful beginner phrases to get you speaking Chinese right away. We'll see you in the next lesson. Bye. Bye. Hello, I'm Sui Chen. Again, we've met with you. This lesson is about the fall of the Chinese New Year on July 15th. 对于中国人而言，它的重要性仅次于春节，就像美国的感恩节一样。平时在外打拼奋斗的年轻人都会回家和亲人团聚。那么中秋节有哪些特色呢？下面我们来一起学习吧。中国人对月亮有着特殊的情感，特别喜欢用月亮来形容自己的心境、心情。你能举出一两个带“月”字的四字词语吗？我会在这个视频的结尾告诉大家答案哦。中秋节前一天，各大城市一定会全程堵车，因为家家户户都在忙着走亲访友、送月饼。月饼的传统口味有蛋黄、莲蓉等，口感酥软，味道香甜。月饼的形状是圆的，象征着团团圆圆。人们互赠月饼，祝福彼此家庭和睦圆满。中秋节是农历的八月十五，这一天的月亮是一年中最圆的，所以百忙之中也一定不要忘记赏月。赏月这一活动对于中国人有特殊的情感意义，尤其对于那些相隔在异地的亲人或者恋人来说，远隔千里之外，共赏同一轮明月。可以寄托他们对彼此的思念之情，这是一种充满着东方浪漫情怀的独特表达。由于农历的八月十五是在秋天的末尾，所以经常很巧的和十月一号开始的国庆节前后相连。每逢如此，政府便会安排七天甚至八天长的连休假期，借此长假。越来越多住在城市的工薪阶层会选择驾车出游，去郊外的度假村小住几天，一边呼吸大自然新鲜的空气，一边赏月吃月饼，不亦乐乎。中国有句俗语叫做“十五的月亮十六圆”，意思是说农历十五日那一天的月亮也许不如十六日的圆。比喻我们明天的生活会更美好，所以要以积极的心态期待明天。现在我来告诉你们前面问题的答案。你能举出一两个带“月”字的四字词语吗？在这里，我给大家介绍一个和月亮有关的四字词语吧。花好月圆，字面意思就是花也好，月亮也圆，比喻生活美好圆满。用于祝贺人新婚或乔迁之喜。这节课你觉得怎么样？你有学到很多有趣的东西吗？在你的国家有类似于月饼的点心吗？请在 Chinese Class One On One com 给我们留言吧。我们下一节课再见。
Welcome to Introduction to Chinese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by... Hi, everyone. I'm Ray. In this series, you will learn everything you need to know to get started learning Chinese. That's right. And we are here to help guide you on your journey. In this lesson, you'll learn the reasons why you should start learning Chinese and how to get started. Chinese is a super language with many dialects. Cantonese, for instance, is a dialect of Chinese. In mainland China, in order for people speaking different dialects to understand and communicate with each other, a standard and official language was created based on Beijing dialect. It's called Mandarin Chinese. Putonghua. This literally means the common dialect. Mandarin Chinese is so widely spoken that it's not only in China. Other countries like Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia use Mandarin as an everyday language as well. Statistics show that more than 14% of the world population are native Mandarin speakers, which makes Mandarin the most spoken native language in the world. Being able to speak Mandarin Chinese means you will be able to communicate with one-sixth of the people on this planet. Which you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Who knows? One of them could be your future husband or wife. Besides the large Chinese-speaking population, China is also one of the oldest civilizations in the world, with over 5,000 years of rich history. Did you know that the Terracotta Army, which is a collection of terracotta sculptures, was built in 209 BCE? They were buried upon the death of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, in order to protect him in his afterlife. Today, you can visit them in Xi'an province of China. Being able to speak Chinese will definitely help you understand the story behind this magnificent world heritage. Chinese culture has had a huge influence on cultures throughout Asia. In terms of language, Chinese language shaped many other languages, similar to the way Latin shaped the languages of Europe. Chinese characters have been introduced to most of the Asian languages, such as Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, and Thai. Even today, kanji, or Chinese characters, is still part of the Japanese writing system. By learning Chinese, you will be able to understand and appreciate different aspects of ancient Chinese and Asian cultures, such as calligraphy, paintings, poetry, music, and architecture. This makes touring around Asia all the easier. Last but not least, China is the second largest economy in the world. Since China opened its doors to the West in the late 70s, the Chinese government has been working on bringing foreign investment and economic cooperation to the country. This creates many employment opportunities for foreigners to work in China. China is also one of the fastest growing nations as well. The future of China is promising. That's why many companies now do business with China, and why many movies that in the future show China as a superpower and a global influencer. Learning Chinese will allow you to have a leg up on the future. This can mean big things for your career and might help you land your dream job. Even if you don't work and live in China, being able to speak Chinese will give you an edge when competing for employment opportunities in your own country. Chinese is often called one of the most difficult languages in the world. It is certainly a challenge. But it's not as difficult as you might think. Chinese grammar is actually pretty easy. It has the same sentence order as English. Plus, there are no noun plural forms and verb tenses to memorize. Even the four tones are not that difficult. Pay attention when native speakers are talking and mimic their pronunciation. You will definitely get the hang of it. Plus, many Chinese people, especially the younger Chinese, speak some English. They're always so eager to help you. You'll find a lot of teachers once you let people know you're studying Chinese. Most importantly, we're here to offer you any help you might need while learning Chinese. Let's get started by looking at a couple of common Chinese phrases. To express your gratitude, you say, xie xie. Xie xie. You can use this phrase in any occasion and under any circumstances. To make your gratitude more heartfelt, you can add, ni, which means you. Xie xie ni. It makes your thank you sound more personal and polite. So to say thanks or thank you, you can say, xie xie or xie xie ni. Let's look at another well-known phrase. Ni. Do you know what that means? Wo means I. I means love. Ni means you. So wo ai ni means I love you. Exactly the same order as in English. If the Chinese characters or Han zi look daunting, don't worry. There's a romanization system for all the Chinese characters in Mandarin called pinyin. 
With the help of pinyin, you should be able to pronounce any Chinese words you see, no problem. We'll get into that in a later episode of this series. Well done. Now you know how to say thank you, 谢谢, or 谢谢你, in Chinese. We've covered a lot of things already, so why don't we wrap up the first lesson and recap on what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that studying another language has many benefits, such as providing new job and business opportunities. China has a colorful history with many things for you to see and learn. And to say thank you in Chinese, it's... 谢谢. In the next lesson, we're going to demystify Chinese pronunciation by taking a look at the sounds and tones of Chinese. So be sure to watch the next video. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Bye! Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Chinese listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? 不好意思，我想看下那个书架上的书。您想看哪本？那本关于汽车的书。请等一下，是这本吗？是的。给您。女人想看哪本书？一个女人正在书店向店员问问题。女人想看哪本书。不好意思，我想看下那个书架上的书。您想看哪本？那本关于汽车的书。请等一下，是这本吗？是的。给您。Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hey you guys, I'm Yuting. Today we are going to talk about the top 25 Chinese songs. Let's begin! 杯子,看。这个是红酒杯,是喝红酒用的. Uh, this is a uh, one glass. It's used for drink the wine. 这个是茶杯,喝茶用的. This is a uh, tea cup. It's used for drink the tea. 保温杯。保温杯是可以保持里面水的温度的. This is a dermis. It's used to keep the water warm or cold. 汽车, car. 汽车, car. 小汽车, uh, 我们叫它小汽车, uh, this is a car. When you're lay in Chinese, people talk with a car. is this car. 吉普车, jeeps. 大客车, bus. Or you can just say 巴士, bus. 赛车, F1 赛车, go car. 电脑, computer. 啊, 啊, 我的电脑不工作了, 我的电脑坏了, 啊, 请帮我修一下. 手机, cell phone. 手机, cell phone. Mm, mm, mm. I don't want to play the cell phone. I want to take a walk with you. Dale? 衣服, clothes. 衣服, clothes. Ah, oh, 这件衣服好漂亮呀. 我想试一试. 食物, food. 食物, food. My favorite topic. <laughs> 小笼包. Dang. 火锅, hot pot. 麻婆豆腐. Hey guys, what's your favorite Chinese food? Please tell me. 你最喜欢的中国食物. Yeah. 筷子, 
chopsticks. Hey guys, I can do a magic. 筷子，筷子，快出来 ，magic！ 呃、uh, ，chopstick， yeah， ball back。嗯，这是我的包 ，this is my bag <笑>。水 ，water， 水 ，water，this is a bottle of water， 瓶装水。咖啡 ，coffee， 咖啡。Coffee. 我每天早晨都喝咖啡。嘿嘿嘿。But I didn't drink the this cup of coffee. I drink this. 哈哈。书 book. Ah,、uh, this is a book. Guys, pretend it is a book. 这是书。If you want to say, ah,、uh, this is a book too. 这也是书。本子 notebook. Excuse me. How much is this notebook? Ah,、uh, 不好意思，请问一下，这个本子多少钱呢？嗯，床 bed. Guys, for example, this is a bed. Ah,、uh, 这个床好软，好舒服。The bed is so soft and comfortable. 家 home. 家 home, sweet home. 欢迎来我家做客。You are welcome to visit my home. 女人 woman. Ah,、uh, this is my family member, and、uh, this woman is my mother. 我的妈妈是一个传统的中国女人。My mother is a traditional Chinese woman. 男人 man. Ah,、uh, this man is my father. 这个男人是我爸爸。大人 adult. In China, if you turn eighteen, you will be an adult. 啊、uh, ，在中国，如果你年满十八周岁后，就是大人了，成年人。小孩 c h i l d 啊、uh, ，guys， in in China， the child and the children is same， is t h a t 小孩 And、uh, tell you a secret， 呃、uh, ，in China， the children tickets is half price。在中国，小孩票半价。老人 ，the elderly。In China, especially during the Spring Festival, if you want to visit your friend's home, you will say to the elderly, 祝老人健康长寿 May the elderly live longer and stay healthy. 学生 students. In China, students have to wear uniforms. 啊、uh, ，在中国，学生必须穿校服。And the uniform is really ugly. I don't like it. It's just the sports wear. I like the Japanese uniform. It's my dream. Money, money, money. Okay, guys. I want to share a Chinese song with you. Money is not endless, but no money is impossible. That means. Money is not everything, but without money, you can do nothing. 米饭 rice. Ah,、uh, this is a map of China, and、uh, I want to tell you that the rice in the north part is more delicious than the source. Ah,、uh, 在中国，北方的米饭比南方的好吃。汤 soup. This soup is made with eggs and、uh, tomatoes. And、uh, this soup is very common in China because it's、uh, delicious, convenient, and affordable. 建议 suggestions. Guys, please give me some suggestions about my video. 请给我的视频一些建议，拜托啦，谢谢。钱包 wallet. 嘿嘿嘿。But in my wallet, just have. 千元，我的钱包里只有十块钱。<笑> okay, guys, that's all. We did the top twenty-five Chinese nouns today. Ah,、uh, guys, please try to use this every day in your daily life, and you can speak it very fluently in the future. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hi everybody! 
I'm Ray from ChineseClass11.com. Do you know how to say bye in Chinese? In this lesson, you'll learn three parting expressions in Chinese. Let's start with the easiest one. 再见. 再见. This means see you later in Chinese. The phrase 再见 literally means again meet. Both 在 and 见 are in the fourth tone, the falling tone. 再见 If you know when you're going to meet the person again, for example, tomorrow, you can use this phrase, 明天见. 明天见. This means, see you tomorrow. You can simply add the word related to the time at the beginning to mean when you are going to see the person again. For example, this one has 明, which is from the word 明天, tomorrow. If you want to say bye at night, here's a phrase for you. 晚安, 晚安, 安. It means good night in Chinese. In Chinese, 晚安, meaning good night, is used as a final parting phrase at night, before going to bed. This is a common phrase used before turning in for the night. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what you've learned. Listen to the phrases and repeat after me. See you later. 再见. See you tomorrow. 明天见. Good night. Wan Well done. Here's a fun fact. When saying goodbye, it's natural for the host of a dinner or get together to make time to see you off. In fact, it would not be surprising for the host to watch you drive off into the night. Chinese etiquette dictates that it is the host's responsibility to accompany each guest to the door at the end of the festivities. You just learned how to say bye in three different ways in Chinese. And don't forget, you can learn Chinese twice as fast with your free PDF lessons. Just click on the link in the description to download them. See you soon. 再见. Wu Wan 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 An. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Ultimate Chinese Pronunciation Guide. In this lesson, you'll learn all the Chinese vowels and their variant vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, U. With these sounds, you can pronounce any vowel that could possibly appear in Chinese. Some vowels may be hard for you to distinguish, especially for English speakers, so make sure you listen carefully. Remember that memorizing and reproducing the sound is the goal. Don't get too frustrated if you forget when to use the variant sounds. That'll come naturally later. Are you ready? Then let's get started. The first vowel is... A, ta, da, cha. This is almost identical to the A sound in the word father, except the tongue is in more of a neutral position. When you say the word father, do you feel a small pressure at the back of your mouth? The idea is to relieve that pressure, keeping everything in the same position, just move your tongue forward a bit. 
You can kind of get a feel for this if you over-exaggerate the ah in father by opening your mouth as wide as possible. When you move your tongue forward, you will relieve that pressure, and it should sound a little whinier as a result. Study how Yinru pronounces this sound. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. When paired with the following, the A changes. Shao, Tang. It becomes identical to the A sound in the word father. Ah, 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 ah. When paired with the following, the A changes. Xian, Duan. It becomes identical to the E sound in the word red. Eh, 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 eh. The next vowel is e, ren, re, ke. It's identical to the E sound at the end of the word problem. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. When paired with the following, the E changes. Lay. It becomes similar to the A sound in the word play. However, try not to carry over the Y sound too much. Try to relax your jaw and say it as if you're allowing the vowel to spill out from your mouth. Listen to how Yinru pronounces this vowel. Eh. Eh. Eh, eh. When paired with the following, the E changes. Chie. When paired like this, it becomes the E sound in red from before. Yue. This is identical to the previous sound, but with rounded lips. Try saying the E in red while rounding your lips. Now listen to how Yinru says it. Eh. 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 When paired with the following, the E changes. Rung. It's similar to the O sound in the word boring, but with unrounded lips. You'll find that when you start unrounding your lips, it'll start to change to more of a U sound. Try it. Now listen to how Yin Ru pronounces it. Uh, 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 uh. The next vowel is E, Beijing, E, Fu, Mi, Mi. It's identical to the double E sound in the word C. E. 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 When paired with the following, the I changes. Ri, zhi shi, zi se. This is similar to the previous sound. It's kind of like the double E sound in the word C, except your tongue is a little bit further back in your mouth in a more centralized position. One trick to pronouncing this vowel is to say the word yi, as in, O ye of little faith. The Y sound should raise your tongue to the correct position in your mouth. Try it. Now listen to how Yin Ru pronounces this vowel. E. 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 When paired with the following, the I changes. I, fei. It's identical to the short I sound in the word bit. The next vowel is o, 
，我，菠菜，魔术。It's identical to the o u sound in the word ought. O, o. O, o. When paired with the following, the o changes. Hong, Kong, Zhongguo. It's identical to the double o sound in the word hook. O, o, a, a. When paired with the following, the o changes. Shao, o jo, ro. The o becomes a little bit like the o sound in the word o. However, try not to carry over the w sound too much. O, o, o. Oh, and the last vowel is u, ku, shu, fu qin. It's similar to the double o sound in the word boot. However, you want to slightly pout your lips more and exaggerate the rounding. Listen to how Yinru pronounces this vowel: u, u. When paired with the following, the u changes. Lu, u, chu. This is like the double e sound in c, but with rounded lips. Try saying the double e in c while rounding your lips. Now listen to how Yinru pronounces this vowel. U, u. Well done. You've just learned all the vowels and their variant sounds in Chinese. With these sounds, you can properly pronounce any vowel that could possibly appear in the Chinese language. Isn't that great? Well, that's all for vowels. In the next lesson, you'll start learning consonant sounds. Which vowel sound was the most difficult for you to learn? Please comment and share your thoughts. See you in the next Ultimate Chinese Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hey, 大家好，我叫马艳茹。Hey, everybody, I'm Yan Ru Ma. Welcome to Chinese Class 101.com's 三分钟汉语 ，the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase 你会说英语吗 ？Do you speak English? We mentioned the word 请问 which means excuse me in formal Chinese. But this isn't the only way to say. Excuse me, or I'm sorry. In Chinese, you will have to use different words in different situations. Don't worry; it will be very easy. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to make a proper apology in Chinese. The expression "qing wen" that we learned in the last lesson is used when asking a question. For example, "qing wen Tiananmen zai na?" Excuse me, where is Tiananmen? "Qing wen." Tiananmen, 在哪儿 The first word is 请问 or excuse me. Then comes a place. In this case, Tiananmen. Next we have 在 This is a word like the English look at it. Last we have 哪儿 which means where. All together, it means something like excuse me, Tiananmen located where. 请问 Tiananmen 在哪儿 An informal way to say "excuse me" is 不好意思，不好意思。不 we have seen before and means something like not. Next we have 好 which means good. Finally we have 意思 which means that. Altogether we get something that means 
not good thought, but which perhaps could be translated as "it is thoughtless of me." 不好意思 We can use 不好意思 when asking a question or when apologizing. All of these phrases can be used for either "excuse me" or "I'm sorry." But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is 对不起 It means "I am sorry," and can be used in both formal and informal situations. 对不起 This is so common that you should learn it all as one phrase, and not worry about breaking it down. 对不起 This is used as often as the phrase 谢谢 is to show appreciation. Now it's time for Yanro's tips. Please remember that in Chinese, if you accidentally bump into someone, we don't say "Excuse me," 请问 Instead, say 对不起 Are you able to count in Chinese? In the next lesson, we will learn the numbers in Chinese from one to ten. I will be waiting for you in our next 三分钟汉语 lesson. 再见 Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kate. Today we're going to learn a very famous Chinese song called "Tian Ni Mi," Sweet Honey. Let's just get started. Tian Ni Mi, Ni Xiao De Tian Ni Mi. Tian Ni Mi, Ni Xiao De Tian Ni Mi. Sweet, your smile is so sweet. Tian Ni Mi means sweet honey or sweet, and Xiao means smile. Smile, Xiao. Next one. 好像花儿开在春风里，开在春风里。好像花儿开在春风里。好像花儿开在春风里，开在春风里。好像 means it's just like it's just like， 花儿花儿 means flowers flowers， and 在春风里，在春风里 means in spring in spring。All right， go on。在哪里，在哪里见过你？在哪里？在哪里见过你 ？Where Where have I met you？ 在哪里？在哪里 means where Where？ 见过你？见过你？见过你 means have met you Have met you？ 你的笑容这样熟悉，你的笑容这样熟悉，你的笑容这样熟悉。Your smile is so familiar. 你的笑容，你的笑容 means your smile. Your smile, 笑容 smile. 这样熟悉，熟悉，熟悉 or 熟悉，熟悉 or 熟悉 both correct. Means familiar, familiar. 我一时想不起啊，在梦里。我一时想不起啊，在梦里。I cannot remember it now. 啊、uh, ，it's in my dream. 想不起，想不起 means cannot remember. Cannot remember. 在梦里，在梦里。In my dream. In my dream. 梦，梦 means dream. Dream. Next one. 梦里，梦里见过你。甜蜜，笑得多甜蜜。梦里，梦里见过你，甜蜜，甜蜜，笑得多甜蜜。In my dream, I met you. In my dream, sweetly, you smile so sweetly. 梦里，梦里 means in my dream. In my dream, 见过你，见过你 ，met you, met you. 笑得多甜蜜，笑得多甜蜜 means 
smile sweetly, smile sweetly, or smile so sweetly. 是你，是你，梦见的就是你。是你，是你，梦见的就是你。是你，是你 ，It's you. 是你 means it's you. 梦见的就是你。You are the one in my dream. 在哪里，在哪里见过你？你的笑容这样熟悉。在哪里，在哪里见过你？你的笑容这样熟悉。We have already learned this sentence, right? Where have I met you? Your smile is so familiar. 我一时想不起。啊，在梦里，我一时想不起啊，在梦里。I cannot remember it now. Ah,、uh, it's in my dream. 想不起 means cannot remember. Cannot remember. 在梦里，在梦里。It's in my dream. In my dream. All right, let's try the whole song. 甜蜜蜜。你笑得甜蜜蜜，好像花儿开在春风里，开在春风里。在哪里，在哪里见过你？你的笑容这样熟悉。我一时想不起啊，在梦里，梦里，梦里见过你，甜蜜，笑得多甜蜜，是你，是你，梦见的就是你。在哪里，在哪里见过你？你的笑容这样熟悉，我一时想不起。啊，在梦里。The lyrics of this song are very, very easy, and I think. They are so romantic and sweet. You guys could sing this song to your girlfriend or boyfriend, and I think that will be so romantic. If you guys like Chinese songs, please don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know. I will make more videos to teach you guys Chinese songs. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye bye. Hello, guys! Welcome to Top Twenty Five Chinese Phrases. Hi, my name is Bao Yuting. It's the first time to see you there. Nice to meet you. 你好 Hello. 你好 The most common way. First time. 你好你好请多多关照 The more casual way to say 你好 is Hi, and just like this. You meet your friends. You can say, "Hey, 去哪儿啊？对不起 ，Sorry. Oh,、uh, sorry. Could you tell me where is the toilet? Oh,、uh, 对不起，请问一下厕所在哪里？谢谢 ，Thank you. You like my video? Ah, 谢谢。早安 ，Good morning. 嗯嗯，早安，早上好。早，晚安 ，Good night。嗯，晚安 ，Good night。太好了 ，Great。We will go into Hawaii for this holiday。耶，太好了 ，Great。哪有 ？That's not true。雨婷 ，You are so beautiful <笑>。哪有哪有 ，I'm flattered。嗯。But in my heart, ha 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 ha, you are right. I'm beautiful. 
<laughs> 加油 ，Go for it! When your friends raising for a competition, you can say 加油加油 ，Go for it! Go for it! Go go go! 放心 ，Don't worry. Um, routine today. There is nobody can cook for our dinner. Don't worry, I've got it. 放心吧，包在我身上。嘿嘿嘿 ，Actually, I I don't know how to cook. 干嘛呢 ？What's up? Hey, 老王，干嘛呢？一会儿去喝茶呀。嗯、huh? ，What's up? You you say you want to drink a tea with me? 嗯、hmm? ，Okay. 好吃 ，delicious. My favorite food, bacon duck. Do you like? Beijing 烤鸭，哼哼 ，Beijing duck， 哈哈，好吃，哎、hey, ，Yummy delicious， 随便你 ，Up to you。今晚我请客，随便你吃什么。I will treat you dinner. Uh, what you eat is up to you. Yeah， 放弃 ，Give up。Hey, please don't give up your dream forever. 请千万不要放弃你的梦想。Yeah, you can do it. 好的 ，OK. Actually, in my generation, all the friends will say OK instead of 好的 So you can just use OK. But like this, could you come here, please? 好的 ，OK. Could you please help me pass this water? 好的 ，OK. 没什么 ，Not much. And also for this, for this, and you can also use 没事的 It's like, ah,、oh, thank you so much for your help. 没事的 It doesn't matter. It's not that much. And also like this, ah,、oh, so sorry, I'm late again. Ah,、oh, 没事的 It's not that much. 我们走吧 Let's go. When you sit on the restaurant and and you just finish it, and you can say say that to your friends, 我们走吧 let's go. 怎么样 How about it? Ah,、oh, it's beautiful. 怎么样你喜欢吗 How about it? You like it? 我想 I want. Oh, my watch is broken. I want to buy a new one. 我想买一块新表。没完没了 ，There is no end to this. I'm my mother now. Ah yeah, you must study hard, and then you can go to the good college. Then you can marry a good man. Then you can have a beautiful baby. Then your baby can go to the good college, and your baby can have a, a good marriage, and your baby can have a good career. <laughs> 我妈妈说起来没完没了。我的妈呀 ！Oh my god! For my generation, the most common way is to say "Oh my god." Is, is messy? I will try it. 我的妈呀！好辣呀 ！Oh my god! It's so messy. Ambulance! 救护车！好有趣。It's so interesting. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. Ah, it's so interesting. 好有趣 Come here, come here. 肚子饿了 I'm hungry. Oh, 怎么还不下课呀？肚子饿了 I'm so hungry. 好撑 I'm so stuffed. Ah,、oh, I'm so stuffed. 好撑呀，吃太多了啊。Just kidding. <laughs> 我喜欢 I like it. Oh, 我喜欢一醒来有你在身旁 Oh, this sounds is so romantic. 再见 Bye. Goodbye. But most carefully to say is 回见回见了您嘞 Okay, that's all. We did the top twenty-five Chinese phrases today. What's your favorite phrases? My favorite phrases. 好吃，嘿嘿嘿。Trust me, it's very common and very very useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.
You must have cut there. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the Ultimate Chinese Pronunciation Guide. In this lesson, you'll learn the top five Chinese pronunciation mistakes to avoid. These are common mistakes that students of Chinese tend to make. So pay close attention and make sure that you don't make these same mistakes too. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Number one, tones. Chinese is a tonal language. The tones are a major challenge for Chinese learners of all levels, but they can't be avoided. Using the wrong tone can give a word a completely different meaning and lead to miscommunication. Ma, 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 ma. In particular, learners have a hard time with the third tone. Listen to an example which uses this tone. Ni. It's the most unique tone out of all the tones because the pitch dips, and then rises. Ni. Imagine a ball bouncing on the ground as you make this tone. Down and up. We'll discuss the tones in detail in lessons eight and nine. Number two, mispronouncing the U sound. English speakers tend to read the pinyin U like the U in good. This is incorrect. It should be more like the double O sound in the word boot. Ooh. Ooh. Whenever you're pronouncing the Chinese U, imagine a little girl pouting and saying no in Chinese. Ooh. You want to round your lips as much as possible. It's better to over-exaggerate than to make the wrong sound. Number three, pronouncing people incorrectly. Many people tend to mispronounce the E sound in the word people. They commonly substitute it for the English E, as in red. This is incorrect. The Chinese E sounds more like an UG sound. Ren. It's identical to the E sound at the end of the word problem. In fact, the Chinese E is a very special sound because it's the most neutral of all sounds. It requires the least amount of effort to pronounce because you don't have to move your lips, tongue, or mouth. All you need to do is relax and have everything in a resting position and just let your vocal cords do the rest. Uh, ren. We'll take an in-depth look at the vowel sounds in the next lesson. Number four, pronouncing the Chinese Q as a ch sound. This is one of the biggest mistakes for students of Chinese. There are many ch-like sounds in Chinese, all of which are distinct. The challenge for English speakers is to first perceive the difference and then to recreate it. The Chinese Q sound should be pronounced with the tip of the tongue touching the bottom teeth, while the blade of the tongue lays flat behind the front teeth. Qian. We'll break down the differences between the ch sounds of Chinese in lesson seven. Number five, adding an R sound to the end of to eat. Ch. Students of Chinese tend to add an R sound in the middle or at the end of a word. This generally occurs when the speaker isn't used to pronouncing the Chinese CH. The Chinese CH requires you to place your tongue in a position that you're unfamiliar with. If you're an English speaker, your brain naturally assumes that you're trying to pronounce an English R due to muscle memory. Watch out for this when you're practicing the Chinese CH. We'll cover CH like sounds in lesson seven. Now you know the top five Chinese pronunciation mistakes to avoid. Try to be careful so that you don't commit these same mistakes. Still feel a bit worried? Over the rest of this series, we'll cover all of these topics in depth. In the next lesson, we'll start learning vowel sounds in Chinese. 
Which of these five mistakes is the hardest to avoid? Have you learned any tricks to deal with them? Let us know in the comments. Stick with us and you'll overcome these quickly. See you in the next Ultimate Chinese Pronunciation Guide lesson. Welcome to Introduction to Chinese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by... Hi, everyone. I'm Ray. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Chinese pronunciation. We'll give you a brief introduction to the Chinese romanization system, demonstrate a few difficult sounds, and then talk about tones in Chinese pronunciation. Pinyin is a system that represents Mandarin Chinese by using the Roman alphabet. It's now the most common way to romanize Mandarin Chinese. It's the foundation for Chinese pronunciation. Learning pinyin will benefit you in many ways. It shows you the proper way to pronounce a word. It also allows you to pronounce a word you've never seen. And if you'd like to type in Chinese on your phone or computer, pinyin input is the easiest and most popular way. A complete syllable in pinyin is usually made of initials, which are consonants, and finals, which are vowels. And lastly, a tone mark. Sometimes though, a vowel by itself can make a syllable too. There are 20 consonant letters in Mandarin or Pinyin. Almost all the same consonant letters as in English, except for the letter V. Bo, pa, ma, fa, da, ta, na, la, ge, ke, he, and so on. And there are combinations of consonants that are initial sounds as well. But don't worry, there are only three of these. Zhi, shi, and then we have vowels. There are six single vowels in Mandarin Chinese. A, O, E, I, U, Y. By combining these single vowels with each other, or by combining them with N, N, G, or R, we can make many compound vowels, such as Ya, O, E, W, R, N, Yun. On, yan, wan, yong. It may look like a lot to remember. The trick is to memorize the ones that sound different from English or your native language. This will be emphasized in the next part of the lesson, so stick around. Some sounds in Chinese don't sound like their Roman letters. We'll show you how they're pronounced in Chinese. First, let's look at some single vowel sounds. Uh, sounds like the U in the English but only longer. Remember not to curl your tongue when there is no R around. Chu, he. The only exception is when it comes after Y. Then it sounds more like E, eh, as in red. Ye, yeah. ye. Yeah. The E sound is like the double E in the English C. E, si. When it comes after A, C, Ch, R, S, Sh, or Z sound. It's more like a short E sound, as in lip. Z shi, si shi. The U sound is like the French U. Your lips should be round and pouting. Lu, nu. U and U are different sounds, but when U comes after G, Chi, Xi, E, it makes the same sound as yu, zhu zi, qu, yu mi. Now let's look at some compound vowel sounds. For all the compound sounds, you just need to make the first single vowel sound and then slide into the next single vowel. For example, the yu sound. Try to make the yu sound. Then slide to e, yu, xu. To make the one sound, combine wu with an, Suan, yuan quan. Yan sounds like the word yen, the Japanese currency. Xian, qian. Consonants are pretty easy in Chinese. Just pay attention to the next couple of sounds. Ji is like the J in jeep, but press your flat tongue tightly against the back of your upper teeth. Jie jie, jia ren. Qi is like the CH in cheap. But, again, with a flatter tongue and a stronger puff of breath. Qing, qi qiu. Xi is like the sh in sheep, 
Again, you lay your tongue flatter and extend the two sides of your mouth wider. 小，新鲜。Now you know all the sounds in Pinyin. A total of over 400 sounds. What an accomplishment! Congratulations. Now let's move on to another important but also challenging part in Chinese pronunciation: tones. Every syllable in Chinese pronunciation is stressed with one of the four different tones. The first tone is steady with a high pitch. Ah. The second tone starts with a middle pitch, then rises quickly. Ah. The third tone goes down from a low pitch, then rises to the middle of the pitch range. Ah. The fourth tone falls sharply and quickly from a high pitch. Ah. Besides the four stressed tones, there's a neutral tone. This is very light, weak, and short. Pay attention to the second syllables of the next examples. 爸爸，椅子，好吗 ？Let's recap what we've learned by breaking down a word in Pinyin. The pronunciation for the famous city Shanghai is Shanghai. The first syllable here is made of an initial sh, and a final ang, and a fourth falling tone shang. The second syllable is made of an initial h, and a final i. And a third falling, then rising tone. Hai, Shanghai. Well done. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, we introduce you to Pinyin, the romanization method to help you get started learning Chinese. We also covered some of the unique and difficult sounds of Chinese and introduced you to the four tones in Chinese. We've covered only the basics of Chinese pronunciation. If you're interested in learning more, check out the entire course we created, named "The Ultimate Guide to Chinese Pronunciation." In that course, we cover and break down every single sound in the Chinese language, showing you mouth and tongue positioning and giving you tips to help you perfect your Chinese pronunciation. In the next lesson, we'll introduce you to the basics of Chinese grammar, where you'll learn about Chinese word order and how to build basic phrases in Chinese. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Bye. Hey, 大家好，我是马燕如。Hi, everybody. I am Yan Ruma. Welcome to Chinese Class 101.com's 三分钟汉语 ，the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Chinese. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. 准备好了吗 ？Are you ready? 我们开始吧。So let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It is just one word. 谢谢，谢谢，谢谢 means thanks. Another slightly more emphatic way of saying thank you is 谢谢你 Do you see what we changed? We just added 你 to the end. 你 As you may recall, this is a word for you. It's like saying thank you. 谢谢你，谢谢你。When you really, really want to express thanks to someone, there is a different way to do it. 太谢谢了，太谢谢了。As we've seen before, 谢谢 means thanks. Here we've got new word 太 which means too. As in too much of something, 太 and another l together. This sentence is like thanks too much. 太谢谢了 How about the response? It's easy. Let me show you the most basic way to do it. 不用谢，不用谢。用 here means need. 用 Put in the bu before it makes it negative. Bu. All together, it's bu yong. No need. Bu yong. Finally, we add xie, which means thanks. So it means something like no need to thank. We use it just like the English, you're welcome. So when someone says xie xie to you, 
you can simply reply with 不用谢. Now it's time for English tips. Although 谢谢 is simple, it can be used in both formal and informal situations with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. But actually in China, we don't usually say 谢谢 to our families and our close friends. The expression while applied creates a feeling of distance, but it doesn't mean that we take thankfulness for granted. Instead, we will do something else in the future to show our gratitude. Do you know how to say see you later in Chinese? Here is a hint. I've been saying it at the end of every episode. In our next lesson, we'll go over this in detail and talk about other ways to say goodbye and hello in Chinese. Until then, 再见! Hey everybody, I'm Ye Ru Ma. Welcome to Chinese Class 101.com's Sanfeng Zhong Han Yu, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude by saying 谢谢. In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in China. 准备好了吗? Are you ready? 我们开始吧! So, let's start. The most commonly used greeting is 你好, 你好. You may remember this from lesson 1. 你好 means hi, hello, and how do you do? It's a slightly formal expression though, so just use it at work or similar occasions. Don't use it with your family and friends. The informal hello is sure to be familiar to you. You probably use it every day already. Hey, hey. If it sounds familiar, it's because it's just like the English hey, but make sure to say it with the right Mandarin tone. Hey. When you want to greet someone in the morning, you can also say 早啊, 早啊. It's very commonly used, but it's slightly informal. What about when we leave? What should we say? 再见. This very common expression is similar in meaning to the English see you again. 再见. This is goodbye. Though simple, it can be used in almost all occasions. Now, you can greet people in many different ways in Chinese. Let's review them all again. When meeting people for the first time or in a formal occasion, 你好. When meeting friends or family members, you can say, hey. In the early morning, you can say, 早啊. When leaving, no matter whether it's a formal or informal situation, 再见. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Yanru's tips. As you know, there are more and more Chinese starting to learn English. This has started to affect the language. Just like how you can say hey instead of 你好, you can also say bye bye instead of 再见. So if you forget how to say 你好 and 再见, you can use the easy, Hey's and bye byes, and people will understand you with no problem. During the next lesson, we will learn the meaning of the phrase 你会说英语吗? Do you already know it? I will be waiting to talk about it with you in our next 三分钟汉语 lesson. 再见! Hey, Hi everybody, I am Yan Ru Ma. Welcome to Chinese Class 101.com's Sanfen Zhong Han Yu, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Chinese, including 请问 and 不好意思. In this lesson, we are going to learn numbers in Chinese. Yes, numbers. 数字 from 1 to 10, and you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. 三分钟. Are you ready? Let's start. 一, 一, 二, 
，二，三，三，四，四，五，五，六，六，七，七，八，八，九，九。十，十。Okay, now repeat after me. I will say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. 一，二，三，四，五，六，七。八、九、十。Great job! What is before 一 ？Do you know the word for zero? It's 零。零。You don't have any more excuses. You can now give your friends your cell phone number in Chinese. Let's try it together. We will use the phrase 我的号码是 ，which means My number is. 我的号码是一三零九四二五零六三七 Can you read it by yourself? 一三零九四二五零六三七 Perfect. Now it's time for Yenra's tips. When we talk about numbers like telephone numbers, bus numbers, and so on, we pronounce one as yao. For example, a bus number one o one is pronounced yao ling yao, and you can even use yao instead of e when saying phone numbers. Try it when you are in China. I'm sure that it will impress people a lot. Do you know the Chinese word for a hundred? In the next lesson, we are going to learn the numbers from eleven to one hundred in Chinese. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson, from 一 to 十。再见。In this video, you will learn twenty of the most common words. And phrases in Chinese. Hi, everybody. My name is Wu Rui. Welcome to the 800 core Chinese words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Chinese. But there was a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at ChineseClass11.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences. Create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Chinese. Okay. Let's get started. First is, 平底锅 frying pan. 平底锅平底锅 frying pan. 这个平底锅很便宜 This frying pan is very cheap. 这个平底锅很便宜。砧板 ，cutting board。砧板，砧板 ，cutting board。厨师正在砧板上切一个水煮蛋。The cook is cutting a hard-boiled egg on the cutting board. 厨师正在砧板上切一个水煮蛋
水槽 sink, 水槽水槽 sink, 水槽差不多满了 The sink is almost full. 水槽差不多满了。饭碗 bowl. 饭碗饭碗 bowl. 我的饭碗在哪儿 ？Where's my bowl? 我的饭碗在哪儿？出口 ，exit。出口，出口 ，exit。请问，中国银行是在哪个出口 ？Excuse me。Which exit is for the Bank of China? 请问，中国银行是在哪个出口？地图 ，map。地图，地图 ，map。看着地图来找出。去你的目的地的路。Check the map to find your way to your destination. 看地图来找出去你的目的地的路。手提箱 ，suitcase。手提箱。手提箱 ，suitcase。不要把贵重物品留在手提箱里。Do not leave valuables in your suitcase。不要把贵重物品留在手提箱里。游客 ，tourist。游客，游客 ，tourist。今年这里有很多游客。There are many tourists here this year. 今年这里有很多游客。政治 ，politics。政治，政治 ，politics。我写关于经济和政治的博客。I blog about politics and the economy。我写关于经济和政治的博客。生物学 ，biology。生物学，生物学 ，biology。生物学是对生物的研究。Biology is the study of living organisms。生物学是对。生物的研究，化学 （chemistry）， 化学，化学 （chemistry）。读书的时候，我的化学真的很不好。When I was at school, I was really not good at chemistry。读书。的时候，我的化学真的很不好。物理学 （physics）， 物理学
物理学 physics。我懂得物理学的基本知识。I know the basics of physics。我懂得物理学的基本知识。经济学 ，economics。经济学，经济学 ，economics。这间大学的经济学课程很厉害。In this university, the economics courses are excellent. 这间大学的经济学课程很厉害。放 ，put， 放，放 ，put， 请尝试把这个箱子放在架子最上面。Please try to put this box on the top shelf. 请尝试把这个。箱子放在架子最上面。记得 ，remember， 记得，记得 ，remember。买东西的时候记得要保修单。Remember to ask for the warranty card when you buy things. 买东西的时候，记得要保修单。拿 ，hold。拿，拿 ，hold。请帮我。拿一下这个。Please hold this for me for a moment. 请帮我拿一下这个。购物车 ，shopping cart。购物车，购物车 ，shopping cart。购物车是空的。The shopping cart is empty. 购物车是空的。塑料袋 ，plastic bag。塑料袋，塑料袋 ，plastic bag。买杂货的时候，用布袋代替塑料袋。When grocery shopping, use cloth bags instead of plastic bags. 买杂货的时候，用布袋代替塑料袋。喜剧。Comedy, 喜剧，喜剧 ，comedy. 他们一边看喜剧一边笑。They are watching a comedy and laughing. 他们一边看喜剧一边笑。小说 ，novel。小说，小说 ，novel。我喜欢悬疑小说。I like suspense novels。我喜欢悬疑小说。Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. 
Click the link in the description and sign up for free at ChineseClass11.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. 再见 Hi, everybody. I'm Ray from ChineseClass11.com. Do you know how to say thank you in Chinese? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say thank you and how to respond. Let's start with the easiest one. 谢谢，谢谢 It means thank you. If you want to really show your appreciation for something, you should use the following phrase. 太谢谢了，太谢谢了 It means thank you so much. The word 太 means a lot. At the end, you can see the word 了 which completes the sentence together. 太谢谢了 literally means thanks a lot or thank you so much. What if you want to say that you appreciate something someone did for you? Here's a way to say it. 谢谢你，谢谢你。You can find the word 你 at the end, and it means you. It's like saying thank you, in which you has been emphasized. Now you know three different ways to say thank you in Chinese. But how do you respond if someone thanks you? If someone thanks you in Chinese, simply say 不用谢 and it means You're welcome, or literally, no need to thank. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the expression and repeat after me. Thank you. 谢谢谢谢 Thank you so much. 太谢谢了 太谢谢了 Literally, thank you. 谢谢你 Thank you. Thank you. And to respond, just say, 不用谢 Thank you. Thank you. Well done. In China. We don't usually say 谢谢 to our families or our close friends because the expression creates a sense of distance. Instead of saying the phrase, we always do something else to show our gratitude. You just learned three different ways to say thank you and how to respond in Chinese. And if you really want to become fluent and speak Chinese from the very first lesson, go to ChineseClass11.com. I'll see you next time. 再见。嘿、hey, ，大家好，我叫马艳茹。Hey everybody, I'm Yan Ru Ma. Welcome to Chinese Class 101.com's 三分钟汉语 ，the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Chinese. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. But because you are asking it in Chinese, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you are saying, even if the answer is no. Here is a common, slightly informal way to say it. 你会说英语吗？你会说英语吗 ？Let's break that down. You, 你 can 会 speak 说 English 英语 question mark particle 吗 ？You will notice the word 你 in the beginning of the sentence. Remember that this is the way to say you. The next word, 会 is like the English can. Then we have 
the verb 说 which means to speak. Next up is 英语 the word for English. And last we have 吗 This is used to ask a question. It works just like a question mark. Put it at the end of the sentence with a low tone. Altogether, it's 你会说英语吗 To learn how to properly use verbs like 会 Please look at our Absolute Beginner series on ChineseClass101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. We are now going to make this sentence formal. First, we need to use the formal version of you, which is 您 Even if we change the word for you, we don't need to change the verb 会 Everything stays the same. 您会说英语吗？您会说。英语吗 ？Adding, 请问 the sentence becomes even more polite. It means something like "Excuse me" here. Altogether, it's 请问您会说英语吗 ？The responses you will receive could be one of these three: 会 yes, 会 or 会我会说一点 yes, I can speak a little. 会，我会说一点。Or， 我不会说。No， I don't。我不会说。Since this last one is a negative statement， we need to say the negative word 不 before the verb 会。It's just that easy. Now it's time for Yanru's tips. For those of you who are not only English speakers. You can use this question with any language you need. More and more Chinese people are studying other languages, so maybe you will get lucky. Just replace 英语 with 意大利语 for Italian, 俄语 for Russian, 西班牙语 for Spanish, 德语 for German. This lesson we mentioned the expression 请问 but did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Chinese. I will see you in our next 三分钟汉语 lesson. 再见。Welcome to ChineseClass101.com's 三分钟汉语 the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. Hey, 大家好，我叫马艳茹，很高兴与大家见面。Hi, everybody. I'm Yan Ru Ma. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Chinese expressions. It's super easy and only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Chinese. Ready? Let's get started. 你好，我叫马艳茹。Hi, I'm Yan Ru Ma. 你好，我叫马艳茹。Start by saying 你好 ，which means hello. 你好。Then say 我叫 ，which means I'm called. 我叫。After this, say your name. 你好，我叫马艳茹。Yes, it's just that easy. When you introduce yourself, you might want to tell people a little more than your name. Again, it's easy. You're learning Chinese, so let's say you want to tell people you are a Chinese student. In Chinese, this is 中文学生 The first word, 中文 It's the word for the Chinese language. 中文 Next, we have 学生 This means student. 学生 Altogether, it's 中文学生中文学生 Now, if you want to say I'm a student, just start with the word for I we learned before. 我 Then add 是 This means is. 
是 After this, add the word for student. Do you remember it? 中文学生，中文学生。Put them together, and you have 我是中文学生。我是中文学生。Remember, start by saying hello, then say your name. 你好，我叫马艳茹。Follow with a little bit about you. 我是中文学生 And now you have a nice self introduction. 你好，我叫马艳茹，我是中文学生 Now it's time for Yanru's tips. When men introduce themselves, it's very common for them to shake hands. In business situations, women will do this too. In social or casual situations, however. It is common for women to simply nod or smile in order to show friendliness. Do you know how we say thank you in Chinese? Come to our next lesson, and you'll see how easy it is. 再见 See you then. Hello, guys. Welcome to Top. Twenty-five Chinese phrases. Hi, my name is Bao Yuting. It's the first time to see you there. Nice to meet you. Ni hao, hello. Ni hao, the most common way. First time. Ni hao, ni hao, ting duo duo guan zhao. The more casual way to say ni hao is hi. And just like this, you meet your friends. You can say. Hey, 去哪儿啊？对不起 ，Sorry. Oh,、uh, sorry. Could you tell me where is the toilet? Oh,、uh, 对不起，请问一下厕所在哪里？谢谢 ，Thank you. You like my video? 嗯、啊，谢谢。早安 ，Good morning. 嗯嗯，早安，早上好，早，晚安。Good night. Hmm. Good night. Good night. Phew. 太好了 Great. We will go into Hawaii for this holiday. Yeah! 太好了 Great. 哪有 That's not true. Yu Ting, you are so beautiful. <laughs> 哪有哪有 I'm flattered. Hmm. But in my heart. <laughs> you are right. I'm beautiful. <laughs> 加油 ，Go for it! When your friends raising for a competition, you can say 加油加油 ，Go for it! Go for it! Go go go! 放心 ，Don't worry. Um, Yu Ting, today there is nobody can cook for our dinner. Don't worry, I've got it. 放心吧，包在我身上。嘿嘿嘿 ，Actually, I I don't know how to cook. 干嘛呢 ？What's up? Hey, 老王，干嘛呢？一会儿去喝茶呀。嗯、huh? ，What's up? You you say you want to drink a tea with me? 嗯、hmm? ，OK。好吃 ，delicious. My favorite food, baking duck. Do you like baking 烤鸭？ <laughs> Baking duck, haha! <laughs> 好吃 ，Hey, yummy, delicious. 随便你 ，Up to you. 今晚我请客，随便你吃什么。I will treat you dinner. Uh, what you eat is up to you. Yeah. 放弃 ，Give up. <sighs> Please, don't give up your dream forever. 请千万不要放弃你的梦想。Yeah, you can do it. 好的 ，OK. Actually, in my generation, all the friends will say OK instead of 好的 So you can just use OK. But like this, could you come here, please? 好的 ，OK. Could you please help me pass this water? 好的 ，OK. 没什么 ，Not much. And also for this, for this, and you can also use 没事的 It's like, 
。Oh, thank you so much for your help. 没事的 ，it doesn't matter. It's not that much. And also like this. Oh, so sorry. I'm late again. Ah,、uh, 没事的 ，it's not that much. 我们走吧 ，let's go. When you sit on the restaurant and and you just finish it, and you can say say that to your friends, 我们走吧 ，let's go. 怎么样 ？How about it? Ah,、oh, it's beautiful. 怎么样？你喜欢吗 ？How about it? You like it? 我想 ，I want. Oh, my watch is broken. I want to buy a new one. 我想买一块新表。没完没了 ，There is no end to this. I'm my mother now. Ah, yeah. You must study hard, and then you can go to the good college. Then you can marry a good man. Then you can have a beautiful baby. Then your baby can go to the good college, and your baby can have a, a good marriage, and your baby can have a good career. My mama says it's not over yet. What a mess! Oh my god! For my generation, the most common way is to say "Oh my god." Hmm. Is messy? I will try it. What a mess! How messy! Oh my God! It's so spicy. Ambulance! 救护车。好有趣。It's so interesting. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. Ah! It's so interesting. 好有趣。Come here. Come here. 肚子饿了。I'm hungry. Oh! 怎么还不下课呀？肚子饿了。I'm so hungry. 好撑 ，I'm so stuffed. 啊、uh, ，I'm so stuffed. 好撑呀，吃太多了。啊、uh, ，Just kidding. 嘿嘿嘿，我喜欢 ，I like it. 哦、oh, ，我喜欢一醒来有你在身旁。哦、oh, ，This sounds is so romantic. 再见 ，Bye, goodbye. But most carefully to say is 回见。回见了您嘞。Okay, that's all. We did the top twenty-five Chinese phrases today. What's your favorite phrases? My favorite phrases. 好吃，嘿嘿嘿。Trust me, it's very common and very very useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. See you next time. You must cut there. <laughs>So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at ChineseClass11.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Chinese. Okay, let's get started. First is. 你好。Hello。你好。你好。Hello。第一次与人见面时，我喜欢说“你好”。When I first meet someone, I like to say. Hello. 第一次与人见面时，我喜欢说“你好”。不好意思 ，Excuse me。不好意思。
不好意思。Excuse me. 不好意思，我过一下。Excuse me, may I pass? 不好意思，我过一下。对不起。I'm sorry. 对不起。对不起。I'm sorry. 我让你生气了，对不起。I made you angry. I'm sorry. 我让你生气了，对不起。晚安。Good night. 晚安。晚安。Good night. 我先走了。晚安。I'll go now. Good night. 我先走了，晚安。很高兴见到你。Nice to meet you. 很高兴见到你。很高兴见到你。Nice to meet you. 你好，皮特。我叫瑞秋德。很高兴见到你。Hello, Peter. My name is Richard. And it is nice to meet you. 你好，皮特。我叫瑞秋德，很高兴见到你。你好吗 ？How are you? 你好吗？你好吗 ？How are you? 好久不见。你好吗 ？It's been a long time. How are you? 好久。不见，你好吗？是的 ，Yes。是的，是的 ，Yes。是的 ，Mike。Yes, Mikey。是的 ，Mike。不 ，No。不，不 ，no， 不的手势 ，no sign， 不的手势，谢谢 ，thank you， 谢谢，谢谢。Thank you. 谢谢你，但 Thank you, but 谢谢你，但我叫 I'm 我叫我叫 I'm 我叫王国义。I'm Wang Guoyi. 我叫王国义。再见。Goodbye. 再见。再见。Goodbye. 再见。我会想你的。Goodbye. I miss you. 再见。我会想。你的坏 ，bad， 坏，坏 ，bad。那个男人很坏。The man is bad。那个男人很坏。好 ，good， 好。好 ，Good。蔬菜对你的身体好。Vegetables are good for you。蔬菜对你的身体好。漂亮 ，Pretty
漂亮，漂亮 ，pretty。这个帽子很漂亮。This hat is very pretty。这个帽子很漂亮。丑 ，ugly。丑，丑 ，ugly， 丑陋的脸 ，ugly face， 丑陋的脸，简单 ，easy， 简单，简单 ，easy。简单的问题 ，easy problem。简单的问题，难 ，difficult， 难，难 ，difficult， 难题 ，difficult problem， 难题。近 ，near， 近，近 ，near。我住在大学附近。I live near the university。我住在大学附近。远 ，far， 远，远 ，far。车站离这里很远。The station is far from here. 车站离这里很远。小 ，small， 小，小 ，small， 小鸡 ，small chick， 小鸡。Remember. The goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Chinese. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources in ChineseClass11.com. See you next time. 再见 Hi, everybody. I'm Ray from ChineseClass11.com. Do you know how to say "I love you" in Chinese? In this lesson, you will learn three different ways to say "I love you" and a special phrase for Valentine's Day. Let's start with the most common phrase: 我爱你，我爱你 ，I love you. This phrase is direct. You should use it only when you are confessing your love. If you want to be less direct, you can use this phrase. 你对我而言如此重要。你对我而言如此重要。It means you mean so much to me. Now. If you want to be more romantic in expressing your love for someone, you can say this phrase: 无法用言语来形容我对你的爱。无法用言语来形容我对你的爱。It means words cannot describe my love for you. Now you know three different ways to say "I love you" in Chinese, and here's one more. What if you want to spend Valentine's Day with someone special? In that case, you can say, 你愿意与我共度情人节吗？你愿意与我共度情人节吗 ？It means, would you like to spend Valentine's Day with me? Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the expression and repeat after me. I love you. 我爱你 
，我爱你。You mean so much to me. 你对我而言如此重要。你对我而言如此重要。Words cannot describe my love for you. 无法用言语来形容我对你的爱。无法用言语来形容我对你的爱。Would you like to spend Valentine's Day with me? 你愿意与我共度情人节吗 ？Well done. Here's a fun fact. Do you know there is a Singles Day in China? In response to Valentine's Day, a n interesting holiday called Singles Day. 光棍节 has developed in China. On November 11th, people who are not in a relationship come together to celebrate their single status, hanging out, eating, drinking, and watching movies are the most common events of the day. You just learned three different ways to say "I love you" in Chinese, and one special phrase for Valentine's Day. Also. Don't forget to download your free cheat sheet on how to be a good lover in China, including words for romance, compliments, and pickup lines. Check out the description below and go to ChineseClass11.com now. I'll see you next time. 再见。Check out、uh, pickup line lines. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how to do this. I'll see you next time. 再见。Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.